Hey, what's hello, up, everybody? Hello, welcome back to the Blind Wave Thursday podcast. Yep, you don't, you don't have to have Thursday in there. Just say Blind Wave podcast. No, it's Thursday though. It is a but Thursday is, podcast. But what about, what about when this is released on YouTube on Friday? Then it still would have been Thursday today. Yeah, or on Stitcher. And Presently, it's still it is being Thursday, released on those, right? So right? I will hello, everybody. <laughs> it is all time from this point forward <laughs> for somebody. <laughs> uh, what's up, everybody? No Shane this week because he is uh, boring. Yep. <clears throat> So we're the cool guys. Yeah. 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 Like, I'm God now. Yes. We're the clean cats. Calvin, <laughs> people are asking, what are you eating? God for the audio it. for the audio listeners, <laughs> Calvin, you'll be hearing a <laughs> no, as he I, eats, but I won't be snorting it. <laughs> yes. What are you much. having? On stream it probably looks like mac and cheese, but this is chicken tikka masala. Chicken tikka masala. The star yes. of India. Star chicken of India opened tikka Monday that, that pretty much everybody left from WaveCon, so yeah. I'm taking full advantage of that. WaveCon, what's that? WaveCon is what we had last week yeah, here in Marietta. WaveCon uh, is probably of our fans. everybody's favorite thing of the week. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's definitely my favorite thing of the week. Look, here's a picture from WaveCon. Yep. Uh, is that the one with like people added that were missing? No, nope. it is not. It is not. That is the so, raw yeah, photo. We had uh, some people come into our hometown of Marietta, Ohio this mm-hmm. last week. Long time. It was like, what, six days, five days. It was a long time. Some people 11th. came early. Some yeah. people stayed late. Exactly. Um, yeah, like, what was the count? Like, like 65, 70 people? Uh, we broke 70. I'm we broke certain, 70? But I don't know what Damn, the actual number was. It's the highest WaveCon yet? Yeah. Which is the goal. It was also yeah. the highest WaveCon yet. Yes, it was. And we will not be talking <laughs> about that now. <laughs> I don't remember. Alcohol can do strange things to people. Yeah. It can indeed. Yeah. 70 people. Yeah. It was a lot of fun. Um, yeah. We'll just talk about it, right? Because we usually start these things like, what's your favorite thing of the week? Which I also have a separate, also cool thing of the week. But WaveCon. 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 Yeah. Indeed. Aaron, hmm. how'd you feel about it? I went skating. You did go and skating. none of you guys came. I did not. I did. Hey, Calvin <laughs> did show up like in the last 30 minutes. I was like, there's no other crew members here. <laughs> I, I tried to go to every event, but I missed one, and you will not let me forget this oh, yours. I, I sent my wife as my proxy. Skating yeah. So, yeah. I, she skated. I missed Putt Putt. I skating wanted to make it fun. to Putt Putt. I went to Putt Putt. I didn't go to Putt Putt. I beat Shane. I had a Shane really... was talking some big See, game in the beginning of Putt Putt because I took four from four strokes in the first one. Oh, I was really? like, damn it. And he's like, ha ha! In the first putt? Yeah, like the, the first, first, first hole. The first one. And then I slowly caught up, and I beat him by like six or something. He was so mad. He wouldn't he say. He's like, I'm not wasn't really competing. But if he won, he would have said, Oh yeah, I beat him. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but I think no. somebody else, somebody else got better than I did. Not everybody was keeping track. We were just having fun. Yeah. Yeah. It was fun. Yeah. WaveCon as a whole was fun. Um, yeah. Skating was fun. I enjoyed that. Star of India was closed, so I didn't get to do that. We yeah. We all sucked. And we then all Calvin had rubbed it in your face today. By getting it, he was like, "Hey, I'm gonna get food before the podcast." I'm like, oh, "Okay, you can yeah. run over to Wendy's, and McDonald's, yeah. you can grab something quick, come home here, eat it real quick. Yeah. Be done." No, you call Star of India; they have your food ready in 15 minutes, which, as Aramaic found out, is faster than most fast food places in Marietta. It's faster than Taco Bell. It is so Taco much Bell's faster. pretty slow. Taco, Taco Bell, Bell is crazy. Drive through fuck Taco that. Bell after 9 p.m. is yeah. like an hour wait. Yeah, sometimes Dairy Queen really is also bad. pretty rough. Yeah, really. Yeah, mm. it can be pretty bad. I usually just go to Wendy's. Yeah, it's good. You ever think like your ancestors listening on this from the ghostly plane and being like, "Oh, you had to wait a fucking hour for tacos." I'd hunt a deer, <laughs> you know. I, I, I could go open. across. Yeah, the like world. my my, my Native American ancestors chased a deer until it died, <laughs> and then took all <laughs> until it just died. Yeah. So, do you guys want to talk about random stuff, or do you want to go like through the schedule? Yeah, let's go through the schedule. Uh, sure. Th- the one thing to, to comment for people that didn't didn't know is like we. Uh, we had events for like everybody, but we also had like separate events for each crew member. So there was yeah. like an activity and then some food associated with mm-hmm. it. So that was a lot of fun too. I'm, yeah, that I, was I, I really like that. Apart from other wave cons that we have done. Yeah, it was a good thing I did that enjoy that. My mm-hmm. Star of India thing fell out because yeah. Yeah. as I was leaving that, you guys were like, hey, the news people are here, and I was like, what are you talking about? <laughs> yeah. So I had to rush here, and then the guy that was running the music and stuff at mm-hmm. the skating rink drove me and Melanie and the kids back to the oh, that's back nice. to the hotel. Yeah, because they're like, you're gonna miss the interview. I'm like, what yeah. interview? What are you talking about? It's got to be done by 4.30. I'm like, huh? Exactly. So it was cool. We got to make local news, which is yeah. neat. Yeah, that's, which I still haven't awesome. seen any video from. Yeah, my I, my in-laws, my father-in-law said that he saw it. Yeah. He said it was pretty cool. There's an article, but I didn't yeah. see the video. There, yeah. yeah, I saw the article. We should email that the... dude and say, like, hey, can we have that video? Just, yeah. just have it. I'll see if it's on... Like, it's not. It's not anywhere I, on the internet? It's not on the, the website. I every hour. I didn't, it's yeah. not on the internet. Okay. 
It's not on the internet. No one cares. It's on, <laughs> it's on the TV. I, if, someone, if it was on the internet, it would have made it in yeah. Blind Wave at some point in the Discord yeah. channel, yeah. and it has not. So I don't believe it's on the internet right yeah. now. Okay. I think it's fake. Big well, news. A couple fans news. came in early. Yep. And there were some general hangouts there. Mm-hmm. But the first day was, uh, what was the first event? Uh, it would have been meet and greet. Well, we had meet the meet and, and greet. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Where, like, we just filled that whole lobby up. Oh, do, do you have stuff to show that we gave out? Or? I mean, I have... So, um, oh, yeah, okay. I had yeah, this we had coin. Little, we had little goodie ba- bags. I don't know where my pin is, but in the in the meet and greet, we handed out uh, the uh, tourism, whatever, of Marietta. I forget the call yeah. it, but um, they were able to help us with some stuff that was like, hey, if you want to look for places to eat, here's this. Mm-hmm. And there's like little pamphlets and stuff of Marietta. Yeah. And then we added in, there was a lanyard mm-hmm. with like a badge thing where people could kind of write their name on it. Mm-hmm. And then there was a WaveCon pin. That everyone got was blue, said WaveCon, had a yeah. little blind wave logo. Also stylus, right? Yeah, it was a stylus on the other side. Mm-hmm. And then there was this little coin poker chip kind of thing that has the WaveCon logo it's like a on it. challenge coin almost. Yeah, it's really cool. And I like it a lot. It's, I like it It's like my favorite one. Yep. So everyone got one of those in their little goodie bag that they got on the meet and greet. Yeah, and you only get them if you went to WaveCon. Yep, and hopefully, yeah, they, exclusive. Went, hopefully they went to the meet and greet. Yeah, hopefully they went to meet and greet. Because w- I know a few people that came in late, and I was like, hey, make sure you get this, make sure yeah. you get this. But I don't know if some others missed sure. out on it or anything. So. A few yeah. people said they got multiple on our eBay. And then. What? Mm. Oh. No. <laughs> I see. Anyway. Oh, yeah. um, Melanie didn't want to load up the car, so she was giving away a few extras. So that was, yeah, she was like, take these. Because we had, we, had, we had enough of what we thought was coming. Yeah. So we definitely were able to cover that. Sweet. So that was good. It's yeah. all a little hazy for me. I, yeah. I was in the the lobby. I can't remember if it was the meet and greet, but Edwin gave me this shirt. Happy Rick Day. Yeah. For my birthday, which was awesome. Good. Good. That might have been on the 11th, but I can't remember. I didn't see you wearing think, it until the last day, and I was like, Rick, where did you get that shirt? He's like, I've always had it. I was like, huh? <laughs> <laughs> I think all your stuff you got like for your birthday was on the 11th. It might have been. Yeah. Hard to say. Um, but no, we had the meet and greet. We talked in there for a little bit, and then we moved into the the restaurant. Yeah, we packed we stuff. packed the Lafayette in every way. Well, uh, yeah, <laughs> <laughs> there were a few random old people in like yeah. one table, yeah. which was awesome. Yeah, yeah. So, but no, we had the, we had the whole gun room place, and we ate there, and then after that, um, Dude, I the, left the, the gun room. Like, I I don't think they were ready for seventy people to come in. Well, they were supposed to start at six. Yeah. And we were on the place, and people were kind of yeah. getting a little antsy, so we were trying to get moved in sooner. So yeah. they weren't quite ready for us because yeah. we, we went in at like five something. Yeah. But yeah. But my table was served first. Mm-hmm. And yeah. I got my food before other people had like ordered, like got their yeah. drinks. I was so happy. <laughs> so happy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that was so funny. Good. It was pretty good food. It pays to be that. Yeah, I got on the corner. I had prime rib. The whole table got prime rib. Nice. Really? Oh. Yeah. It was so good. It was yeah. nice and like it had like it had some marble to it. Really? Oh. Yeah, I'll go back right now. He was he was right behind me when he got his food, and I hadn't I hadn't got my drink yet. Yep. Yeah. So was, b- before WaveCon proper started, we a bunch of us went to Boathouse. The Boathouse was not ready. That's it, what I heard. Yeah. No. Went, yeah. It was like a two hour wait. Yeah. <laughs> it was I've hot. Never, it was I've still never been there. Um, yeah, I didn't make it to that no. during either of the events either. Um, the the gun room, like the food that me and Melanie had, like I don't even mean, but I was like, eh. It was okay. Yeah, but it you're that really, way about a lot of things. It didn't. It didn't hit. Well, like I don't know if I should trust it for the pr- the price that we paid yeah. and the food that we got. Sure. Like House of Wines is better in both ways. Yeah. yeah. So okay. it was like me and Melanie were like, eh, because we were like, well, maybe we'll come here for like a date hmm. sometime because I've never eaten here before. Yeah. And then by the end of it, I was kind of like, eh, I'd prefer the House of Wines over this. Mm-hmm. I, I mean, House of cakes. Wines is just, it's just a magnitude greater than yes. most of the places around here. But we do want to thank all local establishments that help support WaveCon. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Regardless of Aaron's opinion on its food. Yep. <laughs> well, I was just—you said it was really good. What did you, like, what'd you have? Good. I had the seafood trio. Yeah, see, bad I had, choice. So I had salmon. Yeah. And then I had shrimp, and I had scallops. Yeah. Hmm. And they were okay. Sure. Like it wasn't like amazing. See, when I, when I go to a but place first, I, I gotta, you gotta make good choices. I, mm-hmm. I usually do. Like me and Jancy went over to the Busy Bee. I'd never been make... to the Busy Bee before. I and, still haven't been. And to the it busy was, bee. it was really good. But she mm-hmm. chose corned beef as her first mm-hmm. choice, and she's like, "It's not that great." I'm like, "Well, you picked that." Yeah, you did not <laughs> pick a bread bowl at Panera. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> yeah, but yeah. you have terrible first choices. I don't yeah. know about that. No, like we went to the one place. I've been, I've been going for salmon because, like, if I can get salmon done just right. Yeah. Like, I know that they can do other stuff well, because salmon's a harder thing to do. Who's got good salmon? Bob Evans has good salmon. That is true. It's not bad. Yeah. It's not yeah. bad. Yeah, I'll it's try it sometime. Good. Yeah. But, like, the one I mean, place... You'll probably hate it. The one place in Nashville we went to had, like, some of the best salmon I think I've ever had. And yeah. that was in Nashville. <laughs> yeah, it was, yeah, that's, you know? that's great. I don't know. It's and probably then, uh, something 
water there. I don't know. There's some water <laughs> somewhere there. And then uh, I had at the House of Wines recently too, and it was pretty good, but it didn't beat out Nashville, but it was still pretty good. And then yeah. this was below the House of Wines. For yeah. Me, so sure. But it was still overall it was decent. Mm-hmm. And it was a fun time. Yeah, it was a good oh, time. Yeah. Great time. Good times were had the entire, entire WaveCon. Um, and we had Ladies Night. Yeah. Yeah, I was not which a part of. I did I, go to Ladies Night. I took the kids home you so did. that Melanie could be there because it was yeah. supposed to be hang out with like Joy and mm-hmm. Melanie and you know that kind yeah. of thing. So I was not there. Yeah, Jancy. Everyone brought this, else was. <laughs> yeah. Jancy brought this big drink that. Oh yeah. I think everybody Jungle got juice. Some. Yeah. 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 It was really good. It, it was, was like really blue good. flavored. Strong. Like yeah, it was like a Hawaiian juice or something. It was. Like a, that. It was a blue Hawaiian. But yeah. it was super strong. It was way strong. Yeah. Knocked a lot. You know what wasn't strong? The roof. Tell us. Tell us, Eric, what, what Eric? was not strong. At ladies' night, we well went out onto like the the terrace of the Lafayette, which is that's got a kind of cool view. Like you can see this side of Marietta and the river and stuff. And yeah. I've never been up there before. It's a great place to watch the fireworks. Yeah, but uh, Jancy especially kept saying like, she just kept like I, she had a weird look on her face when we were sitting talking or standing talking. And I'm like, what? And she's like, I don't know. <laughs> and then eventually, the uh, you know, there's a foam roof on the Lafayette, and then above that is the patio, which is like what six inches above that. Yeah. Part of the patio just snapped because we had like twenty people talking rambunctiously on it, and it just fell. And we all just like, like first, I, I don't like you know, Jancy had one foot on and one foot off where it was, and I kind of just like when it happened, I instinctively just wanted to push her as hard as I could, like <laughs> away from. Yeah, the, yeah. So were you standing on the part that went? I was standing right, like I had two feet that went down, and then Jancy was right beside me, and she had one foot on and one foot off where it went like this, you know. So did um, you instinctively push her? No. Okay, so she would have died. She would have been dead. Okay. Yeah, as we would have all. And I was like, I, I, when it happened, I was like, well, this is how I die. Surrounded by people that like me. <laughs> <laughs> there are worse ways to die. I know. I was like, it's not too bad. Well, Aaron and Rick will continue blind wave. <laughs> yeah. This isn't quite I don't know if you view. guys were all up there or not. So. Uh, Calvin was up there. Yeah, I was up there, too. I think you all just, uh, you, yeah. you guys all died. Yeah, Rob did Rick. this. Yeah, it, it's not quite the view, but it's similar. It's close, yeah. Yeah. But, uh, yeah, so th- that was, uh, you know, people were just having fun drinking, and there was singing up there and just kind of general talking. I talked a lot about Dragon Ball Z with a lot of people. <laughs> and then the roof broke, and Jancy's like, we got to get the hell out of here. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what kind of hotel you brought us to, but we got to get the fuck out of this place. You know? <laughs> so I left after that, but it was a good time. I don't know what else happened the rest of the night after that. You know, Calvin? Um, I know Melanie went down and, like, talked to try to get him into the ballroom because we didn't have the ballroom until the next day. Yeah. So she went down yeah. to try to talk him into letting us into the ballroom a little bit early. Yeah. And then the lady was like, well, I don't know. Da, da, da. And Melanie's like, well, can we just get in? She's like, I don't want you guys messed stuff up for tomorrow. It's like, it's not like it's a wedding. It's yeah, not, right. We're not going to mess anything mess up. Mess it up. Right. You know? <laughs> so eventually she was able to get into it. And mm-hmm. uh, it went, I, I guess you guys had fun. And Calvin shined a light into a disco ball. And yeah. Yeah, there was a disco ball up there. And Calvin. Yeah, they it. wouldn't. They no one at the hotel knew how to turn the disco ball or the lights on. That's a damn apparently. shame. That's a lie. So, well. <laughs> they just didn't want to. <laughs> I mean, yeah, they didn't want to. Because <laughs> Broke our fucking roof. The next time <laughs> right? I pressured him, I was like, hey, can we get the disco ball turned on? He's like, no, I, I can't. Does someone know? Yeah. Maybe the security guard is like, well, can you talk to him and see if he knows? And he's like, oh, all right. <laughs> yeah. And but, we should also say, too, it wasn't that like we were being like, too rowdy and stuff like no. that thing just sucked that was the equivalent of Aaron's seafood yeah it just wasn't great <laughs> that thing up there yeah yeah well the, the worst thing that the, the patio when i, I looked about. at it the next day the, i think the thing that really hurt it was that like our deck at home you yeah. have them staggered you know so here's a board yeah. here well, where the board ends isn't the same spot these boards yeah. end it ends like in the middle of them mm-hmm. this just had a line of where all the boards came together yeah and that's exactly where it went sh- yeah. So there was no extra support from the way that it was set up. It looked so, like it had been th- added on to afterwards yeah, or something. It, I was going to say what was weird was like the rest of that deck was set up yep. the way it should yeah. have been. Mm-hmm. It was just that one area, which yep. was probably a little wider than this table, I think, mm-hmm. that went, it was like there was one line like this yeah. that just yeah. went, and I was like, oh, yep. well, okay, that's probably why. Yeah, it sheared off all the stringers. Yeah. yeah. So and also they, none of the stringers were supported like under it. But they started fixing it like the next day, too. Oh, yeah. yeah. So they wanted to get ready for for yeah. Sternwell. So they were jumping on trying to get that fixed yeah. soon, too. I mean, so. and, and it wasn't... That's a you know, huge liability, too. Yeah, I know. Like, they knew people were going to be up there. They knew people that have been up there, so... Like, if it, if yeah. it didn't break on us, it would have broken on Sternwheel. Probably. Or just me. I was yeah, just thankful yeah. no one hurt themselves during the Wave Cave tours. True. Yeah, <laughs> that is also true. That was no, the next day. Yeah, yeah. 
because after after that they everyone went down in the ballroom they had fun and danced around and stuff like that but the next mm-hmm. day we had uh, uh putt putt and conan shake putt putt well, yep. yeah to start off shane had putt 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 was awesome shake. i loved putt putt did you yeah we had a lot of people though so i think i was like third in line of like 30 <laughs> and, it, and it's like those 30 are waiting on the first five well, to finish that's where we started but then some people like went to f- hole five some people went to hole like nine and then they just didn't finish the last hole and then, and then we, go back to yeah, one and, and then, then go, go back to, to one yeah so yeah that's that's a good some idea. people like ended with the easy ones you know that but, works but it works and you know, we were there for like 90 minutes some two hours maybe it was fun. Everybody, I think everybody had a good time. Bigfoot. Oh my god, it's so funny. Luckily, it's all <laughs> all of this is filmed. By the way, it will be uh, in a vlog, so yeah, you guys will be able to, to watch that. this stuff too. But there was one hole where Bigfoot, like, it, it, it's it's it was a hole where you have to go up a hill, and then there's a big like gravel pit and like with bricks around it in the middle. Oh yeah, and you have to go on one side or the other side and go up the hill. And if you don't, you know, if you don't go through the thing, then it comes back down. If you don't push it hard enough. It'll come back down. If you push it too hard, it'll go all the way up and then come back down, you know? Yeah. And Bigfoot has had the hardest time. Eventually, he just started hitting it and, like, hitting the brick, and it would hit back over here and then hit the brick again and come back towards him, you know? <laughs> <laughs> it's so funny. Uh, he's probably holding this little baby. Yeah, he was pup. like, man, fuck this. <laughs> so he's so, holding, like, his tiny club. Yeah. This man yeah. Is this yeah. Bigfoot. How tall is Bigfoot? I don't know. I think he's 6'8". He's, he's got to be, like, 6'8". Yeah. Something like that, yeah. Is but uh, after that, uh, everyone came back. We did start Wave Cave tours. Mm-hmm. So we got, took some groups through the Wave Cave. And yeah. I think everyone enjoyed that. We tried to have people sign their pops that had pops because mm-hmm. we have different Wave Rider pops downstairs from yep. the Crusader. Yep. Mm-hmm. Um, and then we let everyone over to the townhouse where people were like ate and drank and then we were having the Blind Wave Spotlight thing. Yeah, right before the tours. Uh, like ended? We took, yeah. Well, right before the tours, we took some people over to do Pokemon Go at the uh, on the other side of the the river over here and as we were walking back like the wind just whipped up and it was like a tornado it was like whoosh, like the fountain was like water was flying from the fountain like really? getting on cars and stuff you know wow. like, run 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 all right we have to go outside and go to the wave cave <laughs> you know and then right when that was happening yeah it started to storm something fierce yeah, yeah it started the, pouring down the rain the weather hit pretty hard during like towards the end of the wave cave tours and then throughout most of the blind wave spotlight thing but yeah Townhouse was cool. They they did a Wave Rider drink. Yeah, mm-hmm. which, uh, yeah. here it is. I don't Excellent. know what all's in it. Yeah, the Wave Rider. But they called it the Wave Rider, which was cool. And, then and it, was uh, blue it tastes and really good, and you don't really good. expect how much alcohol. Was yeah, in. it's a lot like a Long Island iced tea. Yeah, it, yeah. Nate said it was a Long Island iced tea with blue Caraca in it. Okay. Yeah, because we were, uh, you know, we just kind of like made some food. We were drinking, and then we were gonna have a blind wave Q and A. Yeah. yeah. Which they have an thing. outside patio area. Yeah. And then they have like a stage and stuff, yeah. which we were gonna set up on the stage. When it's not storming, that place is so awesome. Yeah. yeah. Like I feel bad that the townhouse didn't get like <laughs> yeah. the rep. Like yeah. in, like you know that could be like one of the best things that of the week. Yeah. You I know? think it would have been really fun because we yeah. were gonna. I had Jenga sitting in the truck. I was yeah. gonna bring that over so we could play that outside. They had cornhole and stuff. So like we could have just hung out there and played, but then it yeah. just rained yeah. so hard and everything was so wet. And then I hope it's in the video, but I was just sitting there. Me and like, you were doing it, yeah. <laughs> with my back to the rain, just getting soaked, just like, eating my burger. Yeah. Like, everyone I, else I, is like at out one point, me. at one point, it started to like pour, <laughs> and it was pouring so hard that it would hit the ground, mist, and then everybody just got up and started moving. And I saw Rick there, and I was there, and we were just looking at each other like. <laughs> 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 That so, was a fun part. Yeah, that was besides great. that, the townhouse was good. I just, yeah. I wish it wouldn't have been so that we could have had, I think, a better time there. Yeah, I think yeah. we would have stuck around more too yeah. had it been a little bit more planned of what we were wanting to do. Mm-hmm. Unfortunately, they stopped serving drinks during the Q and A. They stopped serving drinks during the Q and A. Mm-hmm. Right? No, oh, no. It's not so. that they stopped. stopped ser- I think they just the stopped coming closed. out and asking. Uh, yeah. Okay. Yeah, and I, I I know they asked before. It's like we don't want to interrupt you guys or anything. And yeah. I was like, well, you guys can come out and get drinks, yeah. or whatever. And there was a few times they came out and they came around and stuff <laughs> and yeah. got something or grabbed something. So I don't I, think they stopped. I was a little worried how it was going to go because most of you were quite drunk. Yeah, before we started, I think <laughs> I was fine. the yeah. most. I think you I, were. Jancy got me some fries, so I ate <laughs> a bunch of fries for like thirty minutes before. <laughs> she got like three plates of fries. She got three plates. Jancy of fries made me for chug one of those wave riders right yeah. before I got on stage. Well, because you weren't there enough. She said I couldn't. I couldn't have it. <coughs> excuse me. I couldn't have to drink some now. You're drunk now. Yeah, I'd like to drink some right now. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, I think I had like three or four of those things before we started. And I was yeah. having a good time. I'm like, ask me anything. <laughs> Don't ask. Yeah. Rick was like, filter it through me first. <laughs> <laughs> My worry was that, and it didn't go too bad, but I was like, do they have questions? For, who wants to ask us any kind of questions or that anything? That we haven't you already know? said. Like, yeah. yeah. So I'm like, 
I was worried that it's like, well, what do we talk about or what do we do? But mm-hmm. there were some decent questions that There's we were able to talk yeah. about for a little yeah. while. But then, then I also was like, how long do we go? <laughs> you know? Yeah. Like, yeah. How long a, before we, it's we just had, like, well, we, I think we, we had went, like a set time of what yeah. we were going to roll with it. And then like everything got all askew. So I'm like, yeah. I don't know when we started, how much later do we go? So yeah. I think, I think in terms okay. of a perfect time, we went like 10 minutes or 15 minutes too long. There's a little point at the end where I'm like, if I'm restless, these guys are definitely restless. So next time. We'll you might have also been sobering up. True. So, True. But I thought I'm that hoping, was good. I'm hoping next time we do the similar setup. Like, I want the townhouse to go better. I'm hoping the weather, yeah. like, works yeah. with us. I hope it know? does, too. Because it was lightning, too. It was like a storm. It was a storm. It was oh, yeah. sideways, it was, it was rain, thunder, thunder lightning. Yeah. There's a few questions and stuff. We'd start to answer and be like, <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> Ominous. <laughs> Some kind of thunder <laughs> pops through and stuff, mm-hmm. so. But no, it went okay. And then we went back and hung out at the ballroom and stuff again. Mm-hmm. Some Smash Brothers was played. Yep. Yeah. There was a lot of Smash played throughout the week. Yeah. I think the ballroom worked out okay. Yeah. I think it was pretty big. We had enough tables for like a bunch of board games and stuff to be had. There was definitely enough room for everybody. You know? D&D. We had like three couches with TVs and stuff where mm-hmm. we could play Smash and stuff. And or watch Bollywood movies. There was a Bollywood movie <laughs> watched through at one point. <laughs> so that was good. I needed to share one of my favorite things of WaveCon. I'll send it to you, Rick. Okay. Um. Okay. Yeah, there's a lot of Smash played, and Aaron, your kids played a lot of Smash. Yeah. I mean, Colson lo- loves playing Smash. Leon yeah. plays it. Kanan likes playing, too. So they enjoy it a lot. But, no, there was a lot. Some people had never played Smash before. They got to play Smash for their first time. Mm-hmm. Some people were like, their whole their whole goal was to come and just, they wanted to take a few stocks from us. Like that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Like, I think um, Sean, he's like, I just want to take a stock. <laughs> I was like, okay. Right. <laughs> Whatever works. All right, I'll, I'll send this to you later, uh, Rick, because it's too large. I'll put it up on YouTube unlisted. Okay. okay. But, no, the townhouse and stuff wor- worked out pretty well, I think, the next day. Because uh, that was pretty much all from that. Ballroom? For, yeah, for the ballroom. Those are the games I brought. Yeah, yeah there was a lot time. of games. Yeah, yeah there, was, there was quite a few games. I really liked over there. the drawing one. Uh, Pictomania. Yeah, that one was a lot of fun. Oh, did you play that one, too? Fun. Yeah, I played that one. Uh it was a lot of fun until you got to those red cards or whatever. And then I'm like, well, how the hell do I draw, like, you know, like Concept. euphoria? Yeah. <laughs> the one that I had to draw was uh, proof. Like, I was like, proof. how do I draw proof? So I drew, like, a courtroom setting with a lawyer, like, raising this up and pointing at this. And everybody got it. I was like, I'm really proud of that lawyer huh. courtroom thing. Yeah. But I got more, the, more than half of those games played during the week. So Good. I consider it a success. Yeah. It's great. It's great. No, I only played, I played that Pictomania one. Mm-hmm. I played a game of Skull and I played a few Secret Hitlers. Yeah. That was all I really got to play of it. But uh, the next day was setting up, after we had did the ballroom, the next day was doing the skating thing, mm-hmm. which we walked to the skating rink because I didn't know who all had cars or anything. And it was kind of the farthest event that we really had. Yeah. yeah. It was the skating rink because everything else was like first se- front street, second street. So I walked over to there. The walk there wasn't too bad. We did like a little pokey walk. We did a raid mm-hmm. to try to get like a shiny polywag. Yeah. Um, and then caught Pokemon and talked on the way there. And mm-hmm. then skating wise, like the people there were really nice. I think it went really well. I've got to tell anyone it was cash only. Yeah. So like I opened a tab for water and paid for people to have water. That way okay. everyone could drink. Sure. So, uh, but no, like skating, they did like, they played the Pokemon theme song there. Mm-hmm. They played digging up them holes over there. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. They played, digging uh, up them holes became quite the dance routine. <laughs> right. <laughs> like I didn't know about it until the Valley gym mm-hmm. and I was shocked just at the coordination and synchronicity <laughs> it was Mac. everybody had. Mac and is a leader. I know, but, and then Billy was like, <laughs> it's just so good. We'll talk about that later, but yeah. it was so good. We've got some videos about that. Yeah. I, I sent that video of my, my best moment of Wave. Yeah, I got wave it here. Gone. Yeah. I don't know if you'll be able to. It's, I just have it on YouTube. I know that we had YouTube problems a couple of weeks ago, but uh, it's this one. It's just Bigfoot and Colson playing Smash, if it will play, which it is not. not you might have to go to your thingy. Just give me the other one. But like... I don't know why it just made me laugh, like, watching it. You'll see why, actually, <laughs> uh, when you may actually play it, because it's a lot better in, in video form. No, 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 Yeah, but, like, just because Colson, Colson plays on, like, the fifth dimension. <laughs> like, he just, he constantly rocks back and forth and jumps, and, like, and he, like he'll stop whenever... He needs to stop in the game and stuff. And Bigfoot just completely silent, and they were just playing silently, not even talking to each other. <laughs> I just loved that moment so much. That's I loved great. Yeah. that um, Sean was playing, and Evie really got a test to Sean throughout yeah. the week, and so she was like coaching him yeah. Oh, yeah. as he was playing, and it was really cute. Yeah, yeah. 
No, Colson's been like that playing games for a while. He broke our couch. Really? Like, you know that couch that you know, I had on Ingle's side? I, yeah. I had it since before Leon was born. Yeah. Because oh, yeah. we bought that couch to have more seating for uh, the uh, baby shower or whatever. Yep. And the long section, the middle seat, just is a hole now. Just a hole in it. Oh, so, no. like, he broke the springs and stuff underneath it. It's just <laughs> broken down. Like, I got to get a new couch, I guess. So. It's so funny. Oh. He's, like, he's really good, too. He is really yeah. good. He yeah. yeah, he does pretty well. He gets a – I've been trying to get him – one to understand losing and winning and just good game at both ways mm-hmm. but i also never let him win yeah no you so shouldn't. like yeah so like whenever he beats me he earned he earned it he you earned know it. Yeah. and like whenever i learned to play no one ever went easy on me they're like nope. all right you're, you're good job aaron you won yeah. <laughs> you <know>? so, like, <laughs> so he gets discouraged every once in a while but then he keeps practicing and he, he's gotten pretty good yeah I was like, so how, how'd you do on uh, Smash? Did you play against people? He's like, yeah, I played against Felix yep. and Bigfoot and Thack. And he just started naming off people. I'm like, did you beat anyone? He's like, most of them. Yeah. <laughs> how old is Coulson? Uh, six. Six, okay. He'll be seven in December. Yeah. I loved when, when Gus came out and he was playing. Like, it was Gus, Shane, and a, a random other people would come and play. But, mm-hmm. like, I, I watched for like 30 minutes and then I came back and Shane never, ever, ever won. And he was getting like he continuously was, uh, frustrated. He was getting so he mad. So, he was the maddest I'd seen him playing Smash Brothers. In a while. Yeah. yeah. Because that character, that new hero character, that hero. is some shit. Yeah. That is some shit. Like, I, there's things that happen. I can't believe what's happening. What, what was that about? And he's like, oh, you just lost. Like, there's literally a move where you just lose. Yeah. 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 It hits you and you don't even die. You, you just disappear, disappear and you've lost the stock. And you've lost yep. the stock, yeah. He just snaps you out of existence. He does. How is that? You can't do that. <laughs> None of my characters have a move where you just lost the stock instantly. Gone. No matter. You can't do anything. There's no dodging. Nothing. Well, it. if it's like the game has a low, perci- a low percent hit chance. Well, that's great. I wish my character had a low hit percent of, <laughs> of win. You just win. <laughs> Sometimes I just accidentally. I mean, I do. I do have that. I also die when I do my Ganon side. Or your Warlock Punch. And I die last. Yeah. It's like a last. much better version of my thing, which isn't useful at all. <laughs> uh, anyway, so yeah, that no, happened. It was, it but was it was good to have Gus down. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Like, Gus beat Shane the first time, and everybody cheered. Yeah. And Shane, like, got back in the couch, and he was... <laughs> well, that was... Because uh, that was after the skating and all that kind of stuff, yeah. right? Because we didn't really have anything the rest of the day, and yeah. Gus was there. Yeah. And, uh, yeah, we... Uh, there was, like, a little group just chilling, watching Smash Brothers be played. Yeah. But yeah, it was it was just perfect. Like it was like thirty people watching. Shane loses, Gus wins, and like they all cheered. <laughs> they did. It's like his worst nightmare. It is his worst nightmare. <laughs> you know, it's so funny. Uh, and yeah, that was also technically Rick's night as well. Although I was always running board games for everyone. Sure. Yeah. But we had it a was few... Rick's week. Yeah, it was board games. But we yeah. had a few memorable monikers games. Uh, I wrote like a custom blind wave deck. Oh, that was a lot of fun, yeah. It was pretty Mm -hmm. crazy. Uh, We we came down to Chinese Zodiac and Admiral Akbar, And, like, the um, clue givers went through just those two cards three times each, Hmm. trying to get everyone to get them. Wow. Just couldn't get them. That usually never happens. Aaron, how would you sign Admiral Akbar? Admiral Akbar? Yeah. So so this is what ended up. Okay, yeah, I want to, yeah. It was... So I, I guess I could see the fish with the <laughs> that thing, but what's this? I have no idea. I don't know. I He's mean, got big was, hands, I guess. That with was Thack, wasn't it? Kind it of was like, Thack. It was Thack, yeah. But I mean, the, my first thought is like trying to do like like the chair kind of thing. The chair like, thing. I mean, like you know, like yeah. it's a trap kind of thing. But yeah. even if you can't get that, like give like some fishy like. Well, with the game well, like monikers, you know, the, what you like, want to do is you want to set up like in the first thing, like all right, uh, Admiral Akbar. I'm reading. It. I go, okay, it's a trap, and people go Admiral Akbar, and then. You do this later, people know it. Yeah. But that's the thing you, you got to like seed those early. So you know? I had yeah. fish and force. Fish force. Yeah, like fish force push. It sounds like a. I was like, come on, come like on, a, you can do it. Sounds yeah. like a new, like a new Power Ranger series. The yeah. fish, fish force. force. It sounds fish like force. A, the bad guys in Goof Troop. <laughs> no, it's uh, <laughs> fish force. It's Aquaman's new squad. Oh, okay. Or the Is street it? sharks. Ooh. Yeah. Very nice. Mm. You know They're not mean? fish though. That was fun. I had some really good skull games. Yeah. At one point. It was, uh, I can't remember exactly what happened. I, I, I think, <laughs> I believe that there was like 12 discs on the table. Yeah. And someone bet like 12. Yeah. And got them all. Oh, really? Correct. Damn. And I just stood up. My chair fell out from under beneath me. I just walked off. That's like, awesome. It's ridiculous. Dude, the, um, <laughs> when I was playing one, there was uh, Adrian. He went 
he had four of his discs and in four rounds had none of his discs. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and it was funny because Dan, uh, Dan was playing with us too. So like as he went through, he lost it all. And he's like, oh, all right. Well, I hope Adrian. <laughs> and then when that happens, like, all right, I hope Aaron. I'm like, no, 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 I'm good. I'm good. <laughs> it was just funny. I had a fun time playing with Skull and playing that drawing game. Everyone thought my watermelon was a pizza planet. It was a pizza planet. A pizza planet? Yeah. Well, a I drew, pizza? I drew like a wa- okay, so like a watermelon. I drew like yeah. a big like oval, and yeah. I tried to do like those lines that like watermelons have, right? They had like yeah. those weird lines. But I mean, it's not in color, so that's all it was. Sure. And then I'm like, oh man, that might not be a watermelon. People might get confused. I'll draw a slice of watermelon. So I drew a triangle with like the piece of like rind, yeah, and then little like the watermelon seeds, seeds inside yeah. of it. And everyone's like, that's a pepperoni pizza, and that's a planet. It's Pizza Planet from Toy Story. <laughs> I guess. <laughs> right? Isn't Pizza Planet? Yeah. The, the oh yeah, pl- it, okay. it is. Yeah. But all I'm right. like, that's not. You, no, it's a watermelon. Did you draw the the slice of watermelon like a triangle? I did a like a triangle with like a curve on the bottom because watermelon is yeah. usually curved, and then back in like a triangle, uh, and then you uh, know what see that, Billy did? Go ahead. Nah, you should make the like from the side, like you take a, a wedge out of it, and have like a flat end with rounded. Well, I I didn't think of the slice until I already drew a yeah. watermelon, and I couldn't <laughs> chunk a slice out of it at that point. <laughs> So, Billy, when we were playing that game, we kept saying, like, oh, you got C4, ha, ha, you know, oh, you got A1, that's a steak sauce, ha, ha, ha. And then he drew this one thing, and I couldn't for the life of me figure out what it was. It was like, it was like a, a bottle, and then, like, a drop in the bottle, and then, like, this weird, like, round black thing. And I was like, what the hell is this? And everybody else got it. They're all, like, laughing, ah, they got it, you know? And I'm sitting there, like, with my cards. I'm the last to go. I'm the second to last to go. Someone else, I'm trying to beat them. I'm like, uh, and I just put something down. It was A1, steak sauce. He just, rather than draw what he was supposed to draw, he drew all He drew his, A1. Yeah. He draw A1, you know? And everybody else fucking got it but me. And then Rick came over. I'm like, Rick, because I complained. I'm like, Rick, is this legal? He's like, no, it's not legal. <laughs> <I'm> like, yes. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. It was really funny. That was funny. Uh, yeah, Mac Attack was a skull shark. Like, he had never played it before. Really? He just whooped us. Yeah. And Adam, I started calling him the assassin because he would always get everybody out. Like, every single mm-hmm. round. He had a skull. He had a skull, yeah. yeah. It was crazy. <laughs> yeah. That's fun. But, yeah, I think that was all for Wednesday. It was mainly, like, a lot of board games and stuff. We did skating. We had the, That's when we had the news thing. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So we had to... We, yeah, gave like a tour of like we were a, just because it was like uh, it was during skating, mm-hmm. and I just I had missed skating, so I just went over to the ballroom. ballroom. I was just hanging out there. There was like seven people, and this guy just showed up with like tripods and stuff, and uh, you know he was like talking to people. He's like, "I'm from the local news. What's this thing?" You know, <laughs> and everybody's like, "I don't know." Talk to him. They point at me, and he came over, and he's like, "So uh, I'm from WTAP, and just wanted to cover your event." And I looked around, I'm like, there's nothing going on. I'm like, yeah, well, this, yeah. this was the worst time for him to come. Yeah. Because, yeah. <laughs> like, you everyone, know, it was like, this, everyone was gone well, doing events. Between doing the skating and then after we're done, like, all right, guys, I don't have anything for food. So oh, just yeah. go and eat. get go get food yeah. wherever you want to get food. So everyone was just gone getting lunch yeah. or walking back from getting at lunch or whatever, you know? So he probably walked in and he was like, oh, this thing's stupid. There's nothing there's going nothing on. Nothing here. Here. There's one fat guy and seven of his friends. <laughs> <laughs> they want me to cover it. And that's news, you know? <laughs> But I think he finally got it, and he was asking some questions, and he was like, you know, how many subs you got, and all that kind of stuff. And he's like, oh, oh okay, that's not too bad. But he, I think he was, he, we brought him over to the Wave Cave after interviews. I think he was a little more impressed there. Yeah, it's like, oh, okay, this yeah. is a real thing. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, I know, like, we were on Discord, I think it was me or Melanie or someone, like, tagged it. Guys, come back and hang out at the ballroom and yeah. show that there's people around. <laughs> well, yeah, Jancy put out, like, a, a thing, too, being like, we need to get guys over here, we need to get people over here. <laughs> you know? Yeah. Uh, but no, yeah, I wish, because I guess they called over to the Lafayette, because like, they're like, oh, there's a thing going on the Lafayette. So mm-hmm. he called the Lafayette, and they're like, oh, there's no one running it. Yeah. And I was like, what? Like, Melanie's the one who's been calling them there. Why don't they at least call yeah, her? And like, hey, here's Melanie's number, you know? Yeah. But there's nothing, but all right. But I think but it, it went okay. turned out okay. Yeah. 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 There was a lot of D&D going on as well. I didn't run or get to play in any D&D. Mm-hmm. I was Me trying to. either. Yeah. Yeah. But <laughs> my friend Don was running one, and I went over there for a bit. And there was like a distraction orgy going on or something. I just left. I was like, oh, what? Yeah, there was there, Too was, much. A, there was an orgy that was used <laughs> as a diversion. Okay. <laughs> in I a, know that in was a, possible. In a D&D thing? In a yeah. D&D game, yeah. Well, okay. it, it, it was actually a Dungeon World game, but yeah. Gotcha. All right. Tabletop well, role well, see, playing. That, that's, I'll keep that in my arsenal of 
tricks. <laughs> that same day, I was supposed Weasel. to. I was going to join a Star Wars RPG session with Josh, which was like a like all stormtrooper kind yeah. of group thing. And instead, I had to go watch tattoos. Yes, you did. Which was well, you which had was to. amazing. Which yeah, yeah so I, I think it was awesome that these guys got tattooed yeah. like that blind wave yeah. on their body, and I was like. Is, why? That was the <laughs> like biggest me, shocker. For you know what I mean? To me, like, wh- why, guys? Yeah. But, like, so it it's, was it's, Rop. Rop got the first yeah. tattoo, which yep. is fitting. Rop is, he started our Discord. He's been around for a while. And then mm-hmm. it's not the best pictures, but. Yeah. So we I had have. Rop, Grieve, uh, uh, who else? Kevin. Yeah. Kevin and, and Boba. Boba. Yeah. Boba Fett. Four people got blind wave <laughs> logos Skywalker. tattooed to yeah, their sorry. body forever, which just feels like I should be responsible. Yeah, I know. It feels yes. like I'm, I don't know. Do I have like, it's, it's cool. Like, I love that those guys love the community that much, you know? And it, let's, yeah, let's be honest. Like, their love of Blind Wave is like 50% us, 50% the rest of the community. Yeah. <laughs> you know? Sure. Maybe less than that for us. <laughs> right? Probably more like 75, yeah. 25. Yeah. 75 the community. But, like, but I mean, it was just, it was, it was awesome, man. Yeah. It's, it's, it's weird. Yeah, I get what you mean. Like, why? Like, don't pick, pick something cool. You know, yeah. like, that's, what, that's what I was thinking. Yeah. Like, put something it's cool like, in you your You know, arm. Shane's going to say something real racist next week and we're going to be done. Yeah. <laughs> or sexist. Or... Yeah, exactly. So it's like, it, it, it's really weird, but really cool too at the same time, yeah. you know? Like, yeah. But no. So, yeah. So I was there and I had to watch and, that. And, you know, props for Boba, the one guy that, you know, because they, they had had uh, it set up with another tattoo artist and he just didn't show up. Yeah. So the other tattoo artists over there, like, yeah, sure, we'll do it, you know. And Boba, like the one guy that did his, he, he was just like, "You want to make it look cool for you?" And he's like, "I guess." Yeah, go to town. So he just <laughs> let him just draw on him, you know. Yeah. Permanently, forever, and it turned out really good. Yeah, yeah. he did like cool. Like a, like, like, I'm gonna make it look cool and for and you. Shading behind it yeah. and everything it was a really kind great. of a 3D ish effect. Yeah, it, it did. It was cool, but it's one of those things where you're like, you're just gonna go for it you know do you want to sketch it first have you you know like can i watch you draw a squirrel you know <laughs> is it good a squirrel <laughs> just draw something i know what it looks like well, like so that i know how good you, you are. know how it looks you know <laughs> draw me a squirrel yeah like if a guy drew a squirrel and it looked like you know a marmot i was like ah, it's not a fucking squirrel get, a, get somebody a else a marmot well i wouldn't know not a rodent like a and, and this all happened like in marmot. the morning when people were sober yeah yeah, yeah. like they had thought about these and it was really funny Decided too, because to like, them. yeah, because like we were like, oh yeah, you know, they told me they were going to do it. And I was like, that's fucking crazy. Can I come? And they're like, yeah. And so I, I, I was like, yeah, yeah I'm going to go with them. Too. And then like 30 people came too, just yeah. to watch. They were like, how we many all of you walked guys are getting same a tattoo? Time. And it's like, like just are all of you getting a tattoo? Yeah. <laughs> I, I think these guys might be getting this tattoo, which is one of the memes that have come out of top lads. Yeah. Top lads. Top lads. <laughs> all right. That's because of storm. We had a few people from the UK come in. Yeah. You know, what was crazy, too, is, like, we had some new people that, that were new, yeah. but we also had at least one guy I can think of that wasn't even from Discord. He just came because he heard about us from the YouTube channel talking yeah. about yeah. WaveCon. And Who was that? Navi. Navi. Oh, wow. Okay. Yeah, he just mm-hmm. came because of YouTube. Yeah. Not even because of Discord. Yeah. And then he joined Discord while he was at WaveCon. Yeah. <laughs> Sweet. <laughs> that rocks. Yeah. Yeah. So I'm like, well, cool. That's neat. Like, he came here from okay. just watching us on YouTube. He didn't have, like... A lot of these people were like, oh, man, I have friends from Discord who yeah. are going, and I want to see them, too. And who was it where it was their first time in the U- in the U.S.? Mm, was that Stormy? Was that Storm? Stormy, I think yeah. it was yeah. Storm. First time in the U.S. Well, I think Marietta. also was <laughs> Nani, Nani, which is was from Brazil. First, yeah. Oh, okay, she had never been to the U.S. I don't think either. she'd ever been to the no, U.S. No, either. She and then Amber, she'd only been to the U.S. because of coming to Wave. Last Wave. Yeah. So, yeah. like, she, I'm like, so where all have you been, Amber? She's like, well, Columbus, Marietta, <laughs> L.A., because yeah. L.A. should have stopped in to yeah. come to Columbus. <laughs> yeah. so, it I mean, reminds me of Akasan, where he's like, yeah, L.A., New York, Marietta. <laughs> <laughs> but, yeah, it's just it's weird. Like, man, these people have never been to the U.S., and they've chose to come to Ohio. Yeah. 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 <laughs> no. So, but, no, I mean, it's cool. And it, I, I love meeting all the new faces, too. Oh, yeah. Me, too. Like, that's some of my favorite things is, like, and every time I'm always trying to talk with them and figuring out, like, who they are because yeah. they pretty much already know who I the am. The weirdest thing is, like, <laughs> I'll be like, okay, I don't know, I do not know this person. I'm gonna go up and I don't need to introduce myself because they know who I am. I say, hey, I, you know, I don't want to be like, hi, I'm Eric, because like, I know. Yeah. I'll be like, hey, what's up? Who are who you? Are you? <laughs> and they'll say a name, and I'm like, oh, okay, I have talked to you all the time. I just don't know your face. Yeah, you know, yeah. I don't recognize that. Like, uh, was it Aiden? Aiden, Aiden, who did the Chuck intro? Yeah, right. Mm-hmm. And like, as soon as he said, like, oh, I'm Aiden, I go. 
wait, the Chuck intro's again? I'm like, and I just bond immediately. You know, that's such a cool thing about these kind of meetups. Is you're mm -hmm. like, oh, wow. It's just like it's a level of separation, you know, you get there. Yeah, yeah. I like it. No, I like it too. Mm -hmm. Yeah. No, I was talking to Stormy. Like, I need to talk to you more, Stormy, and work on my Elor accent. <laughs> 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 so we were talking about like, accents and stuff yeah. for like 30 minutes. Exactly. So, but no, it was fun. Um, so yeah, the tattoos, that was cr a crazy experience. Rops was like dripping blood down his arm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, it and says we'll, it's we'll, peeling now. Is it? He's Ooh, trying yeah. not to pick at yeah, it. Yeah, pick don't, at it. don't scratch it. Don't slap it. Yeah. Don't that's, do anything. That's why I don't. I think Kevin got a gradient on his. Now, yeah. Right? Yeah. Kevin already had tattoos. Yes. And Boba already had tattoos. Yes. Rob didn't have any tattoos, right? This is his or, first one. Or, or, or Grief. Grief. And Grief didn't, didn't have any tattoos It's their either. first tattoos. Yeah. yeah. Jeez. They're trying to talk me. In. I'm like, no. No. <laughs> <laughs> I want to watch. I don't want to be you here. You would be the John Reese davies of if we all got blind wave tattoos. You'd be the one that didn't get it. <laughs> yeah. Probably. Because all, all the fellowship got uh, the number nine and Elvish, except for him. <clears throat> yeah, I probably wouldn't do that. Didn't have a good time on that film. Is that what he said? <laughs> well, because the prosthetics yeah. Yeah. Uh, made, his fa it made his face peel over and over and over again. And he had this, like, kind of pussy red face. It was, it was hell for him. All right. He yeah. did a good job. He did a great job. So I appreciate his work. Yeah. Um, so after all that day and the tattoos and the ballroom and all that, the next yeah. day would have been bowling. bowling. Yep. Which I was not at. I spent that whole day back and forth getting stuff ready for Valley Gym mm -hmm. or mm -hmm. trying to get rid of my kids. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> right. <laughs> Yeah, I was bowling. I mean, I was bowling there for pretty well. a bit, but I also, like, I had to, like, you know, every once in a while, I have, like, I got to go to the studio and, like, put up videos. I heard yeah, that I everything was broken. Every, nearly everything was broken. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah North because of the storm and everything. Yeah. Um, the, all of their scoring computers have been knocked out. So, basically, the, the only thing that worked was about four of the six, six lanes. lanes. Yeah. So... Um, yeah, yeah, we just bowled, and on the 10th frame, we just bowled an extra one and, like, tried yeah. to work out the, the score and stuff. It's where we all learned together how to score uh, spares nice. and strikes. <laughs> you know, like, uh, that place was so great in terms of location. It's, like, it's right around the yeah. corner. It's yeah. there. Yeah. Well, that was that's the we, worst bowling I've ever was, been to. It was the worst bowling well, experience North Hill's better in yeah. every way. We, we, we used that Everybody before. had fun, though. Yeah, they did. We used that for, like, uh, one of our kids' birthdays one time. Really? And it, it was fine. Was we didn't have any day? issues with it. But... Like this time we were like, okay, six lanes. Hopefully that's enough for what we have. Yeah. You know, it's yeah. just right there on Second Street, so yeah. it's not too far away. Should work perfectly. But then they just had a lot of issues this time. Mm -hmm. and yeah, two lanes were shut down. They had no score things, and it was it like smelled like somebody it. smoked a cigarette in the morning there too. Yeah, really. Yeah. Last time I went there, they had a Miss Pac-Man machine. Was that still there? Yeah. Good. It was. Good. Good. <laughs> so, I would have been happy. But yeah. So wait, you, no one knew how to score bowling? No. Uh, uh, yeah, spare you do the next throw yep. right, mm -hmm. and then strikes you do the next two next throws. Two. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Alrighty. I well, program that. Rob <laughs> said that Bigfoot <laughs> threw one ball so hard it bounced off the backboard of the lane and hit the back row of pins. Yeah, <laughs> I believe it because he was tossing them. Dude, he had like an eight or six pound ball, yeah. and he would just whoosh. Like I, yeah. I saw like some videos and Snapchats of it where he's just like chucking this ball down the yeah, lane. trying to scare the pins into falling <laughs> yeah. over. No, all the all the ones that you saw on Snapchat were 16 or 18 pound balls. No. No, the one of them was like, it's a six it said six pound ball Did or it? something like really? that. Are you sure? That's what I mean, they could have missed the one when they typed it in. Maybe. The six pounder, people say. Okay. But yeah, it, it was it was pretty crazy. Shane, yeah. Like, I saw Shane's first throw. And he does that thing where like he cups the ball on the side and spins it off the back of his palm to give it a curve. And the first throw, it just like went straight into the gutter. <laughs> and just rolled down. And I was like, I'm out of here. And he's like, no, you stay and you watch. Don't do another one. <laughs> yeah. That's, That's funny. funny. Yeah. The, um, so after bowling, though, uh, you guys had the boathouse, which yep. I, I missed that one, too. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we, uh, we walked across the river to the boathouse and got everything set up over there. Um, I feel just like a, little, a bunch of little things went wrong or were confusing about my day yeah but we got over there and um one of the waitresses was giving us a hassle because she was wanting to take all of the tables of our group which had been in like six or eight tables by herself and get all the tips and everything for it and she was basically like keeping us out of the restaurant for a while until like the other wait staff like oh until us. she could have all of you yeah ridiculous it is ridiculous i was like hey no <laughs> yeah <laughs> they just let us roll in yeah yeah 
huh, crazy. Okay. Even just like one table at a time or something like that. But yeah. Yeah. Eventually, like other people came out and was like, yeah, we got, we got your tables ready. You come in and sit down. So mm-hmm. Got that sorted out. Everybody liked it. It was a nice, uh, nice warm day walking over there. Yeah. I've still yet to eat there. So Yeah? Yeah, I've never had that yet. It's pretty good. I've been slowly eating I more like and more wings. places. Their wings are really good. It was good. the same thing with like the Lafayette, where I'm like, I've never stayed here before. Oh, yeah. It's like, well, that makes sense. You live here. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I never stayed at the Lafayette. Yeah. You had yeah. a room there then? Yeah. Okay, cool. So we stayed there. Um, yeah. But no, the, uh, I don't know, the Lafayette-wise and stuff like that was interesting. Mm-hmm. But like Boathouse, I want to try that at some point because people always talk about it. Yeah. yeah. They've got one thing where you can where you can uh, get a platter and then you can pick the meat that you want, kind of like the... Uh, the townhouse place that we went to mm-hmm. in uh, Nashville. Sure. And, uh, yeah, like, Crusader got all of the meats. And, like, you, Sweet. he got a stack of meat probably, like, four inches high and, like, eight inches across. It was yeah. great. Cool. Did not eat the chicken, though. Sad. Mm. So during my time there, I had to run Leon. I had to get stuff ready for Valley Gym, which also included me and Melanie getting ready for Valley Gym. But mm-hmm. then I also had to get Leon to a audition for Mary Poppins that he was wanting to be in. Okay. Oh, yeah? Which was at 1. I was like, oh, okay, well, that's not too bad. I can get him there by 1. We're pushing off probably at, like, 5.45, 6 o'clock, you know, something like that. I need to be back there. But then I find out that it's from 1 to 4. Oh. And then I also had to get the kids all to mom and dad's out in Bartlett area. And Which then, is, like, a 30-minute drive. Yeah. And then uh, there was some ideas of having Melanie's parents pick up Leon, and I'll just take the other three out, and then they can drop off. But then Melanie's grandma went to the hospital, so they were going up to her. Oh. So, like, that whole day was just, like, just a mess. And, that, and then, like, Melanie had made, like, a, a dress, like a skirt thing. Mm-hmm. And then she was trying to finish her top and everything for it. And then she made me a tie. And then in the rush of me coming in and going back and whatnot, I lost the tie and I lost couldn't find it. Oh, and no. then after the Valley Gym, which that was great, sure. I found the tie oh. in the hotel on, like, this top shelf thing that I put. Really? I'm like, how the hell is it up here? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so mad. I think everybody agreed the Valley Gym was the best part of the week that right? gym was fun i, had I mean a lot of fun rick, there. i know games and all that but rick notwithstanding that was so much better than i thought it was going to be and i thought it was going to be good <laughs> yeah like, Dude, do you guys have any pictures time. of yourselves for the valley gym i have pictures of me but i don't no. have oh guys. like um there is a dressed up yeah there is a video that i have that jess made uh that we can watch at some point that has a lot of valley gym footage in it okay it's got it's about I six and a half minutes somewhere um, but no, the uh, pictures of me. I don't think me and Melanie really took many pictures of us at all. Like, here's me and Adam. Hey, hey, hey. that's great. Yeah. Adam was so happy. And so I, happy. I have <laughs> having Rick in his arms. <laughs> me and and I, Dustin. Yep, yep. And Dustin Wood. You know, we were both Aaron, themed. At one point, there's a picture of you with that hat on, and I was like, you know what? Eric can pull <laughs> off a cowboy hat. I don't know yeah, what it was. That's I was like, Rob, he can do it. Rob took the picture. I don't know where it is now, but yeah, there was a picture, and he was like, that looks pretty good. Yeah. Let me take a picture of this. I sent you a picture, Rick. Okay. Yeah, Jancy went. This is the only one I have of Shane. Oh, <laughs> <yeah>. <laughs> so small, too. That's funny. Oh, that's amazing. That's funny. I'm glad that's the only one you have. <laughs> that's the only one I have. No, but um, but then uh, like Jancy was like, "Is this gonna be like too dressy?" I'm like, "No, go dressier. We're gonna dressy, have a good yeah. time." Was, yeah, it was great. Oh, I, yeah. had of, I had a lot. had a of blast. Fun. I know some people were like, "Man, Jancy looks like red carpet." Yeah. No, yeah. Exactly. We got there. Melanie's like, "Man, everyone's dressed up." Yep. I was like, "I told you, there." People were talking we about Wade Prom. Up. That's great. the prom. So that was fun. Yeah. I because uh, I know. was like, I can do a jacket or a vest, and she didn't want to do any of that. Just do a yeah. shirt and a tie. And I was like, "All right." Yeah, I. Uh, I didn't do a tie because the shirt that I had, I just had this massive neck. And if I were to flex at all, somebody would get hit with it. <laughs> it would whip <laughs> off and hit James in the face. So I just went no tie. Yeah. I got to get like a special fucking shirt. I don't know. Yeah. Special shirt. Piss me mm-hmm. off. You can get a, a tailored shirt. I bought shirt. a tie too. Yeah? Yeah. It's like a $55 tie. You should go over to uh, Horner and Harrison and, yeah, and no. get yourself a tailored shirt. I should. But no. Um, as, as far as like... Uh, for there. my outfit, it was mainly just like a, oh yeah, there's me. Oh yeah, there you go. Yeah, you <laughs> I, love, I was like, you can do that, man. You buy a ranch. <laughs> <laughs> and Wear then, that. I liked what Melanie did with hers because she it was mainly main like a white t-shirt thing, but then she had like that Van Gogh Tardis like dress yeah. bottom thing, yeah. mm-hmm. and then I was supposed to have a tie that matched it. I lost it, so I was so mad. 
But once you got on the boat and started drinking, it wasn't too bad. Yeah. yeah. Everybody but forgot about their troubles on the boat. Less, <laughs> less stress and yeah. stuff, yeah. Well, I mean, I still had the one trouble. I was worried about all the jumping because I was downstairs oh, at one yeah. point during Journey, and there was some guys like, man, you guys might want to slow down when you're jumping. And I was like, okay, okay. And I went upstairs and later on. We were doing Bohemian Rhapsody. And yeah. I was like, oh, no, the head is coming so up. It was so funny. Everyone is going to start bouncing. And you were like, no, no jumping, guys, no jumping, jump, no jump. jumping. Just head bang, don't jump. <laughs> for me, for me. And then you were like, no jumping. <laughs> Everybody <laughs> started jumping. Like, oh. <laughs> <laughs> that was so you funny. You can't stop it. Kevin took a video of that. I have it. I don't yeah. know if we can play it because of the music. Maybe play like five seconds of it. Yeah, or just to give somebody an idea. Or just mute it. Put it on and just mute it. Yeah, put it on and mute it. Yeah, but oh man, so yeah, we uh, we had a meal there too, which I thought was pretty good for being a riverboat. Yeah, yeah right. you know, it was, it was pretty like good. Prime it was really good. And we, yeah, I know when me and Melanie went through trying to figure out what we were gonna have for it, we were trying to choose. So we had like a prime rib, mm-hmm. but then we also had like a vegetarian lasagna. Yeah, and then there was like artichoke dip that was there. Yeah. There was those potatoes, which I really like them. There were green beans, rolls. Mm-hmm. What's that music from? What is that music from? I don't know. I'm hearing like I don't think it's this. I'm hearing like rain. And like a slight thing, it's very peaceful. Long, yeah, it's like just, a, yeah, it's like I'm about to fall asleep. It's like an ambient. Oh, noise. that's what it's from. The <laughs> Legend of Zelda. <laughs> Why in <is> Zelda? <laughs> I don't know. All right, was it <laughs> Zelda? I thought it was the opening to the Sternwheel video. No, no. no. Nope. Don't do that. So yeah. most of this too was just us like it was like karaoke. You know, it mm. wasn't really like singing or uh, dancing. It was mainly just singing. Yeah, but it was a lot of fun. Everybody was there. Um, and there was a lot of songs played. A lot of songs. Yep. A lot of drinks were had. Dude, one of my favorite moments was, uh, uh, I think, Kevin requested um, Lonely Island's uh, I'm, I'm, on on a boat. Boat. I'm on a boat. <laughs> and it was so funny because the DJ in I the very was beginning. Was it Lucas? Yeah. Maybe it was Lucas. Well, whoever requested it, it was funny because the DJ, he starts playing it. And as he <laughs> plays, like, get ready for the motherfucking, motherfucking boat. boat. And he's, like, turning it down. Like, <laughs> and, yeah. like, for the what first, like, about? 20 he seconds, on the he was, like, trying to, like, turn it down and censor it and being, like, oh, no, I don't know if it's okay for this <laughs> no, group. That's fine. And then eventually, like, he, he just said, fuck it. Because right, everybody yeah. was going, motherfucking, motherfucking boat. boat. <laughs> and he's, like, just fuck it. Just All right. Just <laughs> just play this thing. So, no, yeah. so that, that was one of my favorite parts was that moment there because I was laughing so hard. I thought yeah, one, the, flip it, pop, yeah. one of the best parts about the boat ride is, like, they turned around. You know, up at, at the dam upriver. And when yeah. they came back down, they came at like the perfect time. Oh, yeah. For Marietta to be the most beautiful I'd seen it in a yep. long time. Mm-hmm. Like yeah, a pink sunset. Perfect. And we had like a purple, nice. Purple, blue sky. Because that moment we were just kind of like treading water. Yeah. We weren't really like going anywhere. Yeah, it was like the perfect time to go There's by Marietta. There's the jumping. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, lots of jumping. That might have been, is it the first jumping? That's the first jumping. Oh, guys, chill, chill, chill. You did what here, you could. Here, unmute it for a second, Rick. Yeah, okay. He's just a poor boy from a poor family. So he's going to come here. Spare his life from the monstrosity. <laughs> I'm waiting for the part when it's We will not let you go. Let him go. Yeah. We will not let you go. I, I just can't wait until, like, because Aaron's like, no jumping, no jumping. And people can't control themselves. And at one point, someone's just like, fuck it. And they jump as high as they can. <laughs> now here I am. Look, oh, don't yeah, jump. Yeah, yeah. Don't jump. Don't Do jump. not jump when this happens. <laughs> look at my money. <laughs> Guys, don't jump. Don't, don't jump. <laughs> no, I'm like, no, I'm like no, trying no, to prepare no, people. No, no. Mama mia, mama mia, mama mia, mia let me go. But right here, people were just like, amped, like they're just amped up, like they're ready to get into octagon. Here we go, here we go, you know? get ready, watch. They're like gonna and go then... kick somebody's ass, <laughs> and they can't <laughs> not jump. And watch, watch here. This guy's just like, fuck it, jump as much as you can. <laughs> oh, but dude, like it was uh, so, so like when I was downstairs earlier before, and this was like everybody was there this time, you know. Before yeah. it was just like a little group, yeah, d- jumping the journey and stuff. And I was like, oh no, yeah. <laughs> we're gonna break two so roofs. So many people. So, yeah, right. We break two roofs. <laughs> That'd be terrible. Yeah, it was fun. I think the good thing about the the big group jumping later is everyone was drunk and out of time. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> So yeah, no, that was really fun. fun. There was also the, the digging up them holes got played again because it got played once over at um. Do you have skating. that anywhere? Yeah, yeah, I do. It got Dude. played. It got played once at skating. Yeah. I don't know if it got did it get played at bowling or anything. No, not I wasn't bowling. sure. There, there, was, there I, wasn't I thought, any. I thought like, Billy no. told me it got played twice at some know. point, so I don't know. But I knew or skating no. got played at. Sorry, yeah, there was song requests, but I think it was mostly just like a little bit of Journey, like one or two Queen. Gotcha. So we didn't figure out that it was actually like a. 
a jukebox that you could pay play money for. He didn't for realize a while. it was a jukebox. Well, it was behind <laughs> us on the wall. Like it wasn't a yeah, jukebox. Yeah, bigger boy. Yeah. Oh my here god, it is. on this Instagram. Is, this which so I can't make full crazy. screen, yeah. but let's see if it'll work here. Oh, it's all squished is, too. Isn't watch, it? yeah, watch it's Billy. Bigger. If it's oh, gonna work, yeah. it's not no, playing. Oh no, it's all not right, playing. Uno mas. Uno momento, I guess. Damn, Google okay. Chrome, not liking it, I guess. <laughs> no, yeah, I mean, there it goes, kind of, a little bit. Oh, if it would go. But look at Billy. Billy's like in a uh, music video in his head. He is. It's it so was. great. This is my favorite. It was so funny because like I, I don't know who was filming, yeah. but Cody's filming. Yeah, think I'm on. He's going down through, and you had like <laughs> I, th- I was on the left side. You see Calvin and Mac, yeah. and then Lucas, and then I was over here somewhere. You don't see me, but uh-huh. we were all doing that dig hole thing, and then Billy the whole time is like doing the rap with his stuff. Yeah, He's he moving goes. his hands and stuff, and it's so fun. <laughs> I love it, dude. Mac is the best dancer. Mac was the best answer there. He did like yeah. a flip at one point. Hands, he did a front handspring. Yeah. He did the worm. <laughs> yeah. He did the worm. He danced on a like steel a, floor. He danced like an angel. <laughs> he did. <laughs> like he made me have a better time just oh, watching yeah. him dance. Absolutely. He made me a co- more and he confident can paint. dancer. He can paint like no, a renaissance man. <laughs> that was so fun. But yeah. <laughs> Sadly in the background. <laughs> yeah. I, can, the worm. I can do the worm. <laughs> yeah, I could just start playing this. Um, video that uh, Brunette from Cali put together if sure. we want just in the background I'll, yeah. I'll mute it as well yeah just let it play through while we talk about more yeah but uh, the Valley Gym was fun I enjoyed it a lot there was also um, when we got back to the bar and mm-hmm. was like oh the bar closes at 11 which it will if they're not busy yeah. Yes. So yeah. I made sure it stayed open till two. Did you? <laughs> yeah. I stayed in that bar till we, it closed and kept yeah. everyone out. We kept ev- everybody yeah. full of drinks in there. <laughs> yeah. I was like, guys, just get a rotation, get some people in here, back and forth, and all that. So it was so awesome that the Valley Gym picked us up there. Yeah. Too. We had to like, awesome. ferry people well, over to the other place. Yeah. When we were talking to them, I was like, oh man, we have to walk all the way over there. Oh, there's me and Melly. Yeah. Uh, we have to walk all the way over there, mm-hmm. and then we were talking about the Lafayette. She go, oh, the Lafayette. We can pick you up there. I'm like, oh, you can? Yeah, that was awesome. That would be that great. We could just walked out of the hotel, down the levee, and <coughs> we're on, you know? Apparently, when we walked back in, people were like, you guys come from a wedding? I, was, yeah. I missed it. I was really? paying people and stuff. But, uh, yeah, some people said they were asked if they were yeah. at a wedding. Hmm. And they also, the, I thought the Valley Gym did really well, too, with, uh, they had had a group just before, and they had, like, less than an hour between the two parties. Oh, uh, really? To prepare and get everything set up and changed around for oh, the wow. next one. So, it was... They, I thought they did a really good job. Yeah, they did amazing. Um, but no, after the Valley Gym, we went. People hung out in the ballroom more. Mm-hmm. We drank in the uh, the bar and stuff there. And then um, I also met a guy who runs that foam garage in the hookah lounge. Oh, did you? Oh, yeah. yeah. He was like, oh, I'll open it right now for you if you want. <laughs> really? And I was like, I don't know about right now. He's like, well, here's my card. Call me if you want to open tomorrow. We'll open it tomorrow. <laughs> oh, that's funny. Which we had talked about. Me and Melanie. A foam t- dance party might have been fun. Yeah, me and Melanie had talked about like the last hurrah yeah. thing being like at the foam garage, but we weren't sure. Oh, yeah, fuck that. Our fit. last yeah. hurrah was awesome. Yeah. Yeah. I loved the so, last hurrah. Well, on the last day, what, what what all was there? There was the after the Valley Gym, everyone had their dance and drink and parties yeah. and all that stuff. And then we had the last day, which was. The uh, blind wave trivia thing, right? Yep, yeah. Eric's thing, well, which I have a picture of the prizes. Mm-hmm. So Eric had his idea of doing like a blind wave trivia thing. Yeah, we did like a, like a question, like a pub stuff for style it. trivia thing where people got into teams mm-hmm. and we had a bunch of prizes. We had like some uh, some pops from blind wave, some duplicates, and then I had duplicates from my Star Wars collection. I'm like, I was bring them over too, and uh, yeah, that, that was a lot of fun. I had a lot of fun like putting questions together because it's like, okay, so these guys know a lot. <laughs> How much do they know? Like, but what's also some fair questions sure. that everybody will have a chance of, and then you have people like you know Rob who edits for us. Like he's yeah. gonna know a lot more of some for some things than yeah. others. Yeah, or so Lucas, to, who lives in the area. Yeah, who lives in Marietta. So moderators. I tried to throw like some questions that like, well, maybe this group of people will get this, but maybe they won't get this next one. You yeah. know. And I like the questions that were like, whoever gets closest. Whoever gets closest. That way, it's more of like a yeah, yeah. There's only gonna be one answer here. <laughs> so, that was cool. Oh yeah, you wanna. <laughs> I saw this. I'm a giraffe. I'm a giraffe! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this was the uh, townhouse. The Q&A. Um, but no, the, I thought the uh, the trivia thing went really well. Yeah. I thought we had a lot of fun with that. <laughs> there were some br- really good questions. Yeah. I thought of a few in, in the middle of you it, did. and like, well, we'll have to think of these and write more later. Yeah, well, yeah. For next time. Yeah. And some people got some pretty good Black Series choices, too, for prizes, so I hope you guys got those. 
Rick, Rick, <laughs> I was like, damn, I got two of these. Oh man, the stupid yellow. So none of you fucks showed up to that, right? No, yeah, oh, man. Yeah. Look at you. Oh, Look at you fall. No, he fell twice in a row. Well, they were like, you gotta, you gotta sing the yellow song or the, yeah. the, the Yoo-Hoo song, and I'm like, oh man, <laughs> by yourself. Yeah, so I'm like, there you go, Aaron, do it. You gotta dance too. So I'm trying to dance on the skates, sing the Yoo-Hoo song. It's yeah. ridiculous. But yeah, it was okay. And then uh, we had our trivia thing. After the trivia thing, we had a little bit of a break. Ordered some uh, Doughboy's Pizza. Yeah. Which yep. was delivered by Eric's uncle. And yep. I ran the biggest <laughs> game of Telestrations ever. I put two sets together. You yeah, did. You, you had like yeah. 25 That was crazy. <laughs> there, there's Melanie in her outfit. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Melanie and Aaron are definitely the best dancers of Blind Wave. What was funny, at one point they were doing the one, and we were doing the line dance, and they say the Charlie Brown. Yeah. And, like, everyone, I, when I, me and Melly, she's up in the front, I'm in the yeah. back. We both do the Charlie Brown, and we look, and no one else is doing anything. Yeah. They're like, what's the Charlie Brown? Yeah. <laughs> but, so I mean, strange. I was like, this place is crazy. Katie from the UK is line dancing. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It was a lot of fun. We, we, I, I think the Valley Gym was the one that most people were like, this is the best thing we've had. It was so yeah. fun. So I'm glad that we got plenty yeah, of yeah, yeah, holes holes out there. The there it is. Yeah. <laughs> Look at the belly. He's so rapping. good. <laughs> it's so good. <laughs> like, it's legit. I want to see, like, uh, I want to see a video. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Eric, why aren't you dancing with I'm me? I'm dancing. Look at me dance. That's shit. <laughs> Give me a little bit. <laughs> Look, Look, there's dancing. There's That's not dancing. dancing. <laughs> You're just wagging your ass. That's how Sweating all over the place. Yeah, my wife walked away, too. That was a lot of sweat. Dude, I was sweating so much. I sweated there as much as I did for the other one. I didn't sweat that much, and I was in, like, a jacket. Well, and... yeah, but you had air <laughs> from below. That's <laughs> Yes. Rick Ward is killed. Oh, it was very dip. comfortable. Oh, this is the other line. I didn't know this one. I was you guys, like, it. have dances that you do it together and shit? Yeah. I don't practice. I mean, it helps when your wife is a dance instructor. I guess so. And we've been <laughs> together since 2007. Yeah, so true. It's been a while. But no, um, <laughs> so after uh, after like having all that stuff, we had the last hurrah, right? Did you guys yep. have fun with the last hurrah? Yeah, the last oh, hurrah yeah. was fun. So the last yeah. hurrah, oh, yeah. we ordered three like big inflatables. They were much bigger than I thought they were going to be. One was a jousting one. Yeah. So you had two platforms, and then everyone like were hitting each yeah. other off yeah. of them. Uh, one was, that was so hard to stand on. Yeah, it was. I yeah. wish it was easier to stay. The one, I, the, I think the one could have been inflated a little bit more. Maybe. and It'd been okay. I actually took it out um, later and just blew into it as hard as I fucking could, and yeah, I, yeah. I made it better. Oh, did I you? I made it better than the other one. We should we should have blown it earlier. Well, <laughs> you're right, Aaron. Oh. But uh, oh man, I wish people would have been filming that one earlier. I'll talk about that one here in a second because that was after the last hurrah. So uh, <laughs> during the last hurrah, we had the jousting thing. We also mm-hmm. had the giant wrecking ball, which uh, I'm a giraffe, Calvin. Yeah. Um, Thank you, Jess. Mm-hmm. The um, the other one was a wrecking ball, which is kind of like a cool little bouncy house mm-hmm. thing. So it was all right. But the other one we had, I think everyone enjoyed a lot. That was the was, best one. Yeah. Was the that Nerf was really maze? Cool. It was a giant maze. I think rolled up and stuff. They said it was like nine hundred pounds. Yeah. Oh yeah. So it took like all three it of those was guys. Huge. To, yeah. It was a huge it's, Nerf maze. It's up to your armpit when it's rolled up, and it's like eight feet long. <laughs> it was it was huge. So yeah. I mean, even Bigfoot could fit in it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> he know, was, was like awesome. reaching over walls and shooting, shooting them. Hey, out of that now. <laughs> <laughs> Him and Greaves are doing that. I was like, man, we gotta get like a drone and do air support. Yeah, <laughs> but we were able to set up for teams and stuff where yeah. we could have that kind of like this, like here's six versus six or ten versus ten or whatever we had and go mm-hmm. through. So I think that was a I lot was of having fun. A real good time. Like people were going, I'm like, go, 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 go. Like children first, children first. Did your kids were there. Yeah, oh, they, they were running. In. I'm like, I let have them take that, the, Eric. Let them absorb. <laughs> you what? <laughs> Said so I have that. Oh, do you? Yeah. It's so much fun, man. Make sure it's unmuted. Yeah. 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 Oh, I think my team won three out of the four times I did it. I was super happy. But it was a lot of fun. Like, it was really cool. They like provide Nerf guns and stuff for you know. Yeah. And there were so many. Like you never ran out of darts. You know. I don't hear anything. Definitely can't you hear. Should be it. able to hear something. No. <laughs> That's from hell? Transformers. Oh, here we go. What happened? <laughs> were, you yelling, were you yelling lock it down lock yeah. it down yeah, was. i was like post up post up you know if you need to re- if you need to refill your ammunition go back go back go back get out of here get the fuck out of here 
<laughs> I was like screaming at people. Jump uh, first. Yeah. So I went against. Sacrifice you. your body, Adrian. I spent, <laughs> I spent a good bit trying to make sure like we had teams and yeah. stuff working and whatnot. I played one or two of them. I shot yeah. you in the face. I think one. You time. did. You shot me right like, here, pow. like Deathstroke. Um, at one point, Thack was on the other team, and he just like popped from around a corner and roll on the ground and start shooting people from the ground and he started crawling away I was like that was a grievous move he's like time to abandon shit and he just fucking <laughs> rolled <Yeah. down. laughs> you know it was fucking crazy <laughs> that's funny but at one point he just like dove into the wall like down here and I just shot him and you know he's like oh man I shot him again <laughs> it was so funny no, it was fun last year we were able to do some laser tagging stuff so like whenever we saw that as an option for uh for the inflatables, I'm like, well, we should do that. Hopefully, that's a nice, nice yeah. little like alternative to be able to do. Yeah, we do like a whole fair. Get a Ferris wheel, blind Ferris fair. fair. Get some fucking funnel cakes. Funnel cakes. Fuck Onion, yeah, blooming onions. Blooming onions. Hell yeah. yeah! That little kid would show up trying to take it from you. How hey, fuck that kid? How awesome would that be? We should do that. <laughs> the blind way fair. Yeah, we'll just have like our last hurrah. We'll just be a fair. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. How Let's to do, do it, man. You we can win bibos and shit. I like 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 games. I, I was. I was hoping Last Hurrah would be fun and people would enjoy it too because like we weren't 100% sure what we were going to do for a while. We, we caught it the Last Hurrah yeah. and then once we figured out like, oh, well, let's do inflatables let's and do stuff. inflatables. Like, don't tell anybody. We'll just keep it a secret. Yeah. yeah. Well, like at one point, <laughs> we were just like after like after my game, we were like, all right, if you guys have a car in this lot, move it. And yeah. Everybody's like, huh? Just, just, just no move question. it just out of the way. Just, just move it. At one point, like people walking, like, "What the hell is this out here?" I'm like, yeah. you guys haven't been out here. No. <laughs> 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 There's inflatables and stuff out there. Yeah. There was this one guy who like pulled up. And he stopped in like this, he stopped in the very front row. And Melly went over and was like, Sir, could you mind moving your car? Because we're going to be having stuff here going on. Mm -hmm. He's like, When's this shit going to be over? Yeah, he was a biker, wasn't he? Well, he's like, I got some biker friends coming in here. Yeah. We're going to be doing some stuff. It's like, Well, sorry, sir. We have like a little convention thing going and he was on. Like, and, yeah. And Melanie was like trying to be as nice as she could to him and stuff. And then. Yeah. It's like, well, I'm Wasn't he parked right. like in the handicap spot? He was parked spot in a handicap spot, and Melanie's yeah. like, You don't even have a handicap sticker. Exactly. Fuck and that then guy. He walked in, and then when he came back, he had a little rolly like, scooter thing yeah. to put uh, stuff on. Mm -hmm. And Melanie and I were holding the door open for him really? and stuff. Like, Here you go, sir. And he's like, oh, What's up, fucking. <laughs> like, he was <laughs> <laughs> like, We had 70 nerds come out and kick his ass. <laughs> <laughs> so, but no. Um, and after the inflatables and stuff got put away, one of my favorite things, too, of the whole week. Was we did a uh, a mod, uh, Secret Hitler. Yeah. And I played with the mods and stuff, and did that with them, and it was a lot of fun. Some of them had never played Secret Hitler, or at least never played it in person before. Mm -hmm. Um, and we had I think we had seven mods, so we had eight of us playing because I was okay. I joined in, and uh, my favorite thing was I I, I was liberal twice. We played yeah. three games, so I got to be fascist on the third one. Sure. On the, my last liberal game, uh. Kitty ended up being Hitler, and then Josh and Katie were the fascists, mm -hmm. and I was quite certain on those two. And Kitty tricked us, and we gave her Hitler. And then whenever I was fascist later on, I looked over. Josh was a fascist again. Yeah. And I looked for the thumb, and it was Kitty again. I'm like, yeah. okay. So whenever we started the game, um, Kitty was president because usually we say whoever Hitler was last will get to be president. So she gave Chancellor to me mm -hmm. just out of nowhere. Okay. And then I'm like, okay, maybe I can sneak a signal over. So she gave me a blue and a red, and I discarded the blue and played the red and said, I didn't get a choice. And then she goes, yes, I did. I gave him a choice. He's lying. <laughs> <laughs> and I was like, son of a bitch, no. Yeah. And, and she realized what I was trying to do, sure. and then she threw me under the bus, and she yeah. Discord messaged me. She goes, I'm so sorry I fucked up. I'm so That's sorry I so fucked funny. up. That's so funny. So then the whole rest of the game, I just tried to play as obviously <clears throat> fascist, but while trying to di di direct yeah. it other ways. So like Jake was against me. He yeah. was like, "You're definitely fascist." Yeah, and I'm like, "No, I'm not. You must. You're with Kitty." And then at one point, Josh pushed on to Katie, and he's like, "No, Josh, it's Aaron, and Josh." I'm like, yeah. "No, it's you Kitty, created a side. Kitty, yeah. Katie, and Jake." And eventually, they gave Chancellor to Kitty. Yeah, and we won. Which won the game. And Jake like threw his chair, threw his phone, went crazy. Like, I had heard that bitch. he snapped. <laughs> yeah, it was great. It, it was, was great. Uh, it was so much fun. Yeah. So we enjoyed that. That was one of my favorite things was doing that one. That's good. Yeah, that was that was the last day. That yeah. was the last day. Yeah. 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 One of my favorite things, which I think was that day, which I don't have a video of, but I do have a picture of, was, um, was that the day that you brought in your Nerf guns? Oh yeah. Oh, Calvin. Yeah. Well, yeah, it was that night he brought in. Well, yeah, uh, I I left and then I saw Snap later. I'm like, what the hell is going on over there? It was particularly <laughs> Shane. Yeah. Shane walked in with no shirt on. 
he had a bottle of I don't know what it is. It's sake, yeah. I think. So, where do you get sake from? I don't know. It was bad. So he had that, and then like Calvin ha- or someone had this mini gun Nerf ball gun thing. Yeah. And they just was like and just shooting. Shane just sitting there like they're just shooting him. I'm like, what the hell's going on? Yeah. Oh. Like I saw him afterwards, and just these giant welts, welts. everywhere. He had welts all over him. It was great. <laughs> it was hilarious. But there's that one, and then there's also Shane just walks into a room with no shirt sometimes. Like we yeah. were, t- we took the WTAP guy over there to He's show him around. Shane just walked out into the room, no shirt on. Yeah, I'm like, dude, the news is here. He's like, oh, take my shirt off, walk into the room. I was given my tour, yeah. I think. He was showering, <laughs> and he was showering, walked out naked or something. <laughs> oh, that's hilarious! <laughs> you will. Hate that you versus oh, the guy man. she tells you not to worry about. Oh, I wish he was here. <laughs> he will hate that so that much. That is so fucking it. funny. Oh. That's that's neat. That's the kind of thing that if he were here, he'd be thinking about that tonight. <laughs> God damn he'd be, it! Look be at in me the, be in the mirror, fucking working out. <laughs> God damn I'm sorry. What were we saying? Uh, I don't know. I, I don't forgot. Know. I have a euphoria right now. <laughs> that's good. So funny. That's a good picture. Uh, we were talking about the last night. Uh, the Nerf guns and stuff. Yeah, uh, yeah, that was all of WaveCon. Yeah, oh, which was fun. Should we announce the special surprise? Yeah. So uh, with my trivia game that you're talking oh, about, yeah. my trivia yeah. game. You know, we had prizes there, and whenever uh, you know, there were I think there were four rounds of five questions, and the winning team got to go up and pick like you know pick like you know they were the first to pick whatever they wanted, and then the second, and the third, and the fourth, and then at the end, I kept giving out these sticky notes like every time somebody won. And by the end of the uh, the game, everybody also got one more sticky note. So some people had three sticky notes. Some people had two, one, four, whatever. Um, and then we held a special vote, a, a poll, for yeah. what show we're going to react to next. And they had five shows they could they uh, could have picked. And there is a winner. Yep. So yeah. we will be starting. Go ahead and say it. Yeah, we can say yeah. it. We will be starting The Boys. Um, here n- well, next week is when Shane will get back. We'll probably be filming it beginning next week when yep. we have Shane back, and then we'll. So it was a special WaveCon trivia night. Like that's it. Those are the people that got to vote on yep. that one. So mm-hmm. we start the boys. It's only a, a five episodes. You know, it's not like going to be one of the things like, oh, well, now those people get to vote again or anything. You know, <laughs> maybe, maybe going crazy. <laughs> maybe next. Maybe is next it? week. Despite, yeah. but uh, despite it being my birthday. Berserk, Berserk was on there. The no one picked it. Yeah. No. it was there close. was a couple. There was picks. there was a few uh, votes. Yeah. There I was think, a couple. I think it Crushed. came. I think yeah. it came between Berserk or the boys. Were yeah. the top two. Berserk won handedly. Hand, yeah. Yeah. No. Didn't it? The boys won handily. That's what I said. Yeah, oh, I'm boys. sorry. I, I, meant, I meant the boys. <laughs> if you want to say Berserk won handily, Eight I'll episodes, go with it. Yeah. I think Berserk was second. Eight episodes, but. Yeah, so uh, I thought that would be like a fun treat. You know, we we even talked about you know wanting to do a couple extra things before stuff comes back in October. And I thought let's WaveCon's yeah. here. Let's but let we, them decide. You know, we don't have a ton of time no. between now and then too. Yeah. So we only have I don't know seven weeks at most. I yeah. think. Yeah. So uh, we'll be having uh, episodes of the boys going up. We'll we'll try to do a couple so we can have it up on early access as well, mm-hmm. and mm-hmm. have a good time with that because some people have been saying they will really like that show. So. Yeah, I was. Uh, you guys gotta thank the WaveCon audience at the trivia game. Yeah. For, for voting for it. Mm-hmm. So it was and a lot of fun. Yeah. Make sure thank, you come uh, in next year. Maybe it'll be another. Yeah, part. and make sure you don't miss the trivia <laughs> game next year. <laughs> yeah. Make sure to thank uh, <clears throat> at Top Lads. That was one of my favorite moments actually of WaveCon. Is like I kept giving out these things and they're like, like why did they get these th- these sticky notes? Like what is this? Yeah. Okay. And then we announced what it was gonna be and they all go. Oh. I was like, oh, that feels good. Yeah. yeah. So it was fun. Uh, someone hit, hit me up with a video of Shane getting shot. Oh, good. Yeah, I definitely want to see it. I mean, I did see it. This is ridiculous. Bouncing off of him and everything. Shake it everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> That's ridiculous. <laughs> I hope I hope you get to see the wealth. Yeah, you can see the wealth a little yeah. bit on. And there's Mon Sigur Hitler back there. Yeah, yeah, and we were playing right over here on the right. Yeah, you were playing the uh, really big uh, illustrations, weren't you? No, I think we were playing Pictomania. Or oh, no, 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 no. Uh, say anything at that point. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Yeah, but yeah. But, so. Funny. 
whenever I saw that on Snap, I only saw like five seconds of him not reacting at all and just drinking as he gets hit. I'm like, what the fuck is going on over there? <laughs> uh, I didn't see all the parts where he's like, you know, if I, if, if I say stop, stop. <laughs> Come on, Come on bitch. bitch. Melody yeah. sent me a message on Discord saying, with all these crazy stories, the Lafayette just had a staff meeting and were raving about how much they loved us and can't wait to have us back. Oh, great. Oh, awesome. Great. We well, need to fix the roof. Yeah. yeah. A little bit. Yeah. They're listening to this and be like, never mind. Get better fish. <laughs> Guys, don't. <laughs> They're like, don't come back. No, we had a great time, man. That, it, you know, like, it's one of those things where it's like, it's not the perfect hotel for a convention necessarily. Because, you know, it kind of prides itself on being like a historic hotel. Yeah. I mean, yeah. the Lafayette celebrated 100 years in service last year. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You know, it's a historic hotel. But it's a great location for us, like, yeah. for all the things that we had around it, being so close to the Wave Cave, you know. The ballroom was fantastic, like, how much size we had, and yep. they were really cool about everything, so. Mm-hmm. But, no, uh, LKG sent us some, uh, he sent to Chef Josh yeah, uh, two cases of these ice cream cookies called It's yeah. It that are from, like, San Francisco. I'm still eating them. Yeah, we yeah. have some in the, in the fridge right now, <laughs> in the freezer. But uh, he sent two cases, and they made room to put them in the freezer. Yep. And, uh... There was a couple times I was trying to get a hold of them, and after the first time, I kind of just started going back there and just being like, hello, can I get some of those ice cream cookies out? Yeah. <laughs> like, trying to find somebody, <laughs> someone here? Because I also didn't want to just go back here and grab them out of the freezer. So every time I tried to find someone, like, yeah. hey, I was going to I was gonna grab these, but I don't want to be in your way, and I don't cause you problems. Yeah. So, this was I'm good. not stealing shit. Rob, yeah. said, Rob said that uh, the one waitress at the gun room had just started the day that day. Yeah. You oh, know? yeah. And then she thanked us for being so great at breakfast every morning. She actually paid off his last bre- breakfast. Which yeah, is pretty cool. Oh, really? Yeah. <laughs> so that's really cool. That's cool. Yeah, like um, every every day that you're there, like you can go to the desk and get like a a meal voucher thing, and it pays for like five dollars of your breakfast. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Well, but, you you can get one specific breakfast, or you can pay like five dollars of a different breakfast. Yeah. Gotcha. And uh, mm. yeah, she just comped. Like a bunch of people's breakfasts on the last day, so that yeah. was really nice. I hope everybody had a good time. You know, we, we we're already talking about oh, what's some stuff we can do next year. So yeah, we'll get there. Yeah, we've definitely got some ideas got some left time. over from this year too. Yeah. So, so and also thank you to Melanie. So if you guys yeah. message yeah. her, DM yeah, her on Discord or whatever, but she did a lot of work of trying to yeah. get this stuff set up and schedule it and all that kind yeah. of stuff. So thank you to her for yeah. yep, all. We that. also did a. Uh, we did a, the big group photo, and then we did individual photos with everybody. I definitely want to thank Jancy for taking all those pictures. Oh, yeah. Because yeah. she kind of just, like, she's like, I'll take the big picture, and then she kind of <laughs> just got roped into, like, all right, take every picture now. <laughs> take this, yeah. take this. So. Well, once you're standing there and, and, you know, you hand a phone, and right. then someone hands a phone to you. Yeah. It's like, well, what am I going to do? Yeah, right. <laughs> it's like, no, I'm leaving. Yeah. But No, I had a, I had a good time. I thought it was yeah. a lot of fun. Yeah. I hope yeah. people had, had fun with it. Mm-hmm. Um, we'll be getting, um, probably within the next week, we'll probably have a form up on the website for people that attended that yeah. can kind of tell us like what they liked, didn't like, so we can try to take into account for next year. Yep. Um, Get a feedback. Just, yeah. Because we need to figure out what date we're going to do it because we also have the Anaheim stuff going on for Star Wars mm-hmm. Celebration in August. In August and yeah. So like the time of when it's going to be is a little in the air right now. Yeah. But we'll figure all that out and hopefully be able to schedule out like... <clears throat> Yeah, not schedule, but figure out like events people like, things that people didn't sure. like, what we need to change, what we can do better. Yeah, if it should be in Marietta, I think for the most part Marietta seemed okay this year. Yeah, yeah. So, I mean, you know, it's it's a small town. Like, there's not a like you know, other than WaveCon, there ain't a lot to do in Marietta. You know, like the best thing I do in Marietta is Blind Wave. You know, <laughs> <laughs> so it's not like you know, it's a it's a destination for people all around the world to come to and check it out. You know, mm-hmm. Valley Jam is pretty cool though. Yeah, yeah. Valley Jam. Yeah. I think there's a lot of places we can get on like a little. Yeah. Paddle boat, go yeah. down the river, have a dance yeah. party. You but know? The, yeah. the people made it fun. Mm-hmm. So yeah, that was absolutely. good. Yeah, I think, but the, I think we could have fun anywhere, too. I think one of the best things, yeah, I mean, if we yeah. just had that ballroom, I think it would still be fun yeah. with the group that we have to just hang out in the yeah. ballroom, oh, yeah. watching Bollywood movies, yeah. playing Smash, playing like, board games. Like, hypothetically, Shoot if we were to go like to Columbus or a different city, I definitely want to make sure we like get a room, like a big, big room like that. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. That can just be a general hangout, you know? Rather so. than the lobby last year. Yeah. Like, <laughs> where it's like, I hope we can stay here. Yeah, yeah right. <laughs> I hope the staff don't get pissed yeah. off. Well, the thing with Lafayette, too, is I think that we were supposed to close it by 10, mm-hmm. but the good thing was that we also had most of the hotel. Yeah. So it's like, there they shouldn't be, there shouldn't be a yeah. whole lot of people here to complain about it because it's mostly you guys, you yeah. know? Wonder. And you guys are in the ballroom. Yeah. <laughs> Just yeah. us and those bikers. Yeah. Well, <laughs> one of the, there one was of a the, golf group at one point. Yeah. One of the funny yeah. things that happened, too, was. Because it was on the news, like some people would start showing up, yeah, being like, "What is this?" And like, like a random family just started playing on the 
yeah. on the things, which is fine, you know. Yeah, and care. some people like came, like some older people came into the ballroom and took pictures with like Kylo Ren and Quake. Really, standees. <laughs> I didn't see that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and left. That's hilarious. <laughs> uh, that's funny. Yeah, it, it's weird. No one around here really knows that we exist. So no, no. definitely, it was not. weird for one to even be noticed on our local yeah. news channel because it was like no one knows we're here. <laughs> no one has any idea mm-hmm. what we do. And we've not really advertised it in the past either. True. So I can't well, really I mean, blame you also have a lot some, of people. But. I mean, you have some people that watch us that, what are you guys doing here? And they got live in Marietta. What? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I watch you guys every day. It's like, you do. Yeah, right. How'd you not know? <laughs> We're yeah. down the street. I was just tell- telling these guys, like, I was at Tampico's, like, yeah. a couple of weeks ago. Some guy just, like, I-, I go in to pick up my order, and he just looks at me like, like this, like, complete shock. And I'm like, is something okay? And he's like, I've watched your videos. I'm like, oh, oh, cool, man. <laughs> it was interesting, but <laughs> never happened like like no. that, like that bad or bad, but never like that that crazy <laughs> of, a, of a reaction, you know, where he's like probably thinking, I thought you guys live in like California somewhere else, yeah, something, right? No, yeah, I went really in funny. like like three or four days later and bumped yeah. to him again. Yeah, some. Like, oh, I just saw Eric. They wouldn't it's recognize great. me. He'd be like the guy in the movie theater. No, oh, yeah. And I was like, hey, this guy's a blind wave fan. Yeah. I was like, I just talked to him. He didn't say a thing. Exactly. <laughs> He's funny. not that big of a fan. I don't want to talk to him. And he probably only watched like Firefly or something. <laughs> yes. And there's going to be a vlog for, for Wave yep. as well yes. for anyone yeah. who missed it. We, mm-hmm. we had a guy that was filming, which was also a wave rider. Uh, he was... Yeah. He was a fan. He also came up to do the documentary. Yep. So he may use a little bit of the footage for the documentary as well. But I, I imagine... A month-ish, maybe, it'll be yeah. out. Something okay. like that. Something yeah, like that, and yeah. I think that the uh, the Blind Wave Q&A and maybe the, the game, trivia game, trivia game sure. might make their own videos, too. Okay. Okay, cool. That'd be fun. Cool. Cut down. They don't need to be yeah. super long. No, they yeah. don't have to be super long. Cut but, out some of the quiet parts and yeah. stuff. So. And the time waiting for questions yeah. and answers and stuff. So then you guys could maybe play along with the actual video. Ooh, right? that'd be interesting. Yeah, that'd be good. So Eric, I have a car video still. Oh, yeah. So, okay. So part of my week was... <laughs> I went to go pick up Jancy at the airport the day before uh, the meet and greet, right? And as I was driving up, like, I got onto 270 in my 2006 PT Cruiser. Like, at one point, like, I get up to, like, 70, like, miles per hour, and it goes, gung, 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 and stops, and it keeps fine, going. I'm like, well, that was really weird. Like, it, like, shocked me, you know? I was like, okay. And it did it, like, one more time right before I got to the airport. Gung, you know? I was like, that's really fucking weird. So I picked up Jancy. Um, you know, we haven't seen each other for like two and a half months, three months, you know, been a long time. But uh, uh, since like E3 or something like that. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So I was like, by the way, my car made a really weird noise, you know, coming up. And she's like, oh, okay. So I'm like, you know, just don't freak out if that happens, you know. Because I'm like, I'm not, I'm not, I won't be shocked at it. We're not going to die. But we got in the car. We were in really bad traffic until we got to 70 uh, from 270. And as soon as I got out of traffic and I would hit 60, it would go, 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 It would like shake really bad. And I'd go down to, to I'd go down to 59 miles an hour and it'd stop. Dude, I bet Jancy freaked out. <laughs> she, she got kind of sick on the airplane. She wasn't feeling very good. And she's like, you know, maybe I can get some soup or something for dinner. I just don't feel very well. But as soon as that something happened, started happening, she was fine. She was just... <laughs> <laughs> gripping, you know, What's going on? and I had to go 59 miles an hour or lower the entire ride back because, like, there would just be a time where I, it would just slip to slightly going 60. Go, 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 you know, Jesus. I was like, Jesus, this has never ever happened like this. It was it's the like, camshaft, it's that cruise controller, yeah. which would, it would it would cost like you know so much to get a whole new one. It's pretty much like when that goes out, you might have to just get a whole new motor after that. You know, well, yeah, because you fucked yeah, all your bearings, because you fucked everything. everything up. All your contact yeah. surfaces are gone. It was terrible. So. I was like, well, and she was like, you know, I love you, but this is terrible. <laughs> <You know? laughs> Put me back on the plane. <laughs> yeah. You know, like, so, because, you know, we've been having talks about, like, her, you know, moving out to, to Ohio one day and stuff like that. And, you know, it was just like, is this what I'm moving to? To cars like this? <laughs> <You know? laughs> she didn't say that, but I was like, oh, man, I'm so embarrassed. That's what you like, feel like they're thinking. And it's, it's head, such right? a... It's such a weird feeling when you don't have good like transport, you know, yeah. transportation. Like mm. you just you just feel like oh I hate it. You feel trapped. So I was like, well, you want to go on a buy a new car date tomorrow? <laughs> <laughs> so yeah. So before we went out to to the meet and greet, 
I went in the morning. I when it, when it opened at eight, I went to the dealerships and started looking for a car. Yeah, uh, and I, I bought a car. You did buy a car. I bought a, uh, a Ford Edge ST 2019, which yes. I've never ever bought a new car, ever. It had it's forty like five, new, new, right? Yeah, it had forty five miles on it. It's a sharp I've car. never ever bought a new car before, um, and it was it's yeah. Like I, I looked at a lot of them, you know. I, I was we were driving around. I'm like, oh, that one looks kind of cool. And I like you know the idea of like a hatchback or something that's not an SUV, not a car, a little bit bigger, you know. And then that was the only one that I really liked. Like, I, when I, I walked up to it, and I'm like, Jancy, come check out this car. She's like, that's the only one you had a reaction to, you know? <laughs> yeah. So when the guy came out, you know, I was like, I, this is the one I want to test drive, you know? Did the test drive, did all that, bought it. Yeah. Because I've been wanting to buy something for a while. I just, I'm one of those guys, like, I don't care what I drive. I don't, I, I'm not like a gearhead. I don't. Like as it gets to A to B, that's fine. But you know, I don't want to go 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 from A to B. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> so I, I figure that Are I'll. Are you sure the bird just wasn't in the motor? Yeah, right. <laughs> so I figured <laughs> that. <laughs> yeah. So I figured that uh, if I buy this, then you know this will last me ten years. Next At least. Car, next yeah. car I buy will drive itself. At least till next wave time. <laughs> you know? At least, yeah. Like they'll all, yeah. Uh, hopefully, yes. So do you want me to do this video? Yeah, so, okay, so the, uh, this, yeah, this video is pretty crazy. So, Is this you know, in your PT Cruiser still? No, this, no, this is, is the, the, the Edge. You didn't um, do a video in the the sound or anything of the PT Cruiser? No, I didn't. Damn, man. I was a little preoccupied with living. Hey, film yeah. this <laughs> shit. <laughs> yeah, so, okay, so this is a video when we were taking Jancy up. Uh, I'll, you guys can go ahead and, you can go ahead and play it right now. Okay, now go. All right, I'm driving 177 to take Jan to the airport. This is the first interstate voyage with this new car. Okay, I have it on cruise control at 73 because I'm a gangster like that, going three over. Now, the cool thing about this car, I don't know if it's cool or if it's scary, but the cool thing about the car is that it drives itself. Oh, it's the very Okay, so yeah. I'm gonna turn here and I'm going to let go of the steering wheel. <laughs> you can, yeah. like, right there on and it. And the car will drive itself. And it's so hard not to grab it and turn. But I'm not driving. <laughs> the car driving itself. That's a big deal for me, okay? My last car, my newest car, it yeah. says keep hands on the steering wheel. But my last car, the newest car I've ever driven was a 2006 GT Cruiser. <laughs> so, this is pretty crazy. Yay, I feel safer, Hayden, okay? Feel safe, feel safe! No! <laughs> no, Hayden! Hands on wheel! It's doing it! No! It's doing it! <laughs> feel safe, no, yeah. you let go, you feel yeah. safe! Yeah, it's, it's the weirdest thing to let go, like, you know, it's just the, it's a, it's, it's assisted driving. It doesn't drive yeah, for you. It doesn't, yeah. yeah. It but, won't drive for you. But, it does. Like, cause it, 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 they say, no, it's assisted driving. However, it does drive on the interstate for you. Yeah. Like. Mm -hmm. Like you have well, to. Well, they don't want fools doing what you're doing here. Be like, no, oh, yeah, no, they don't you. want to. But <laughs> Take like, a nap. you just need to like, you just have to have your hands on there, and it'll goes. Like there was, I, I told Nancy it was kind of scary too, because like, I got to the point when I was driving down, like you know, an hour in, where I'm like, I'm just barely touching, and it's driving itself. No, yeah. And I'm not flexing a muscle to turn the wheel. I'm just holding it. And there was times I'm like looking at cows and shit. <laughs> and I'm not driving. <laughs> you know? Like it like drives itself and it's 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 such a weird feeling to let go of that control, you know? Yeah. Cause like when the guy first showed it to me, I was like, fuck this. I'm never using this. No, no, no. But it's kind of fun. It was kind of fun. Cause yeah. uh the SUV that we rented to go to Nashville yeah. had it the had same that, yeah. driving assistance. Yeah. And I think it was a little bit older system because yeah. sometimes that one like, would go like this. There would be yeah, it would ping pong between the lines. Yeah, where the one that you have, it yeah. looks like it's a lot. It's smoother. completely straight. Like you know, from here to like Codwell, I I didn't like do anything. You like, just had I, your finger hanging I, I, on the wheel. I just wheel, put my basically. finger on every once in a while because if if you don't if you don't touch the wheel for like twenty seconds, it'll ding it, at it you. It will say, "Hey, yeah. put your hands on the wheel." You know, but I kind of like did that just to test it. How does it know you're touching it? It has heat sensors. It has a heated wheel well it wouldn't work for rick nice then. it cools no. your ass could you imagine that rick has oh, it oh you have you have you air that? conditioned seats my oh, seats that's the cool. one thing i like, wish heated I seats were great but this oh, blows yeah. air into your ass it's great <laughs> it's, it's amazing it is the best yeah it is made for a kill it is the best <laughs> it is the ever. best 
No sweaty ass no. on, a, on a road trip anymore. No, no swamp ass. Yeah. But it, you know, it does like assisted stopping. Like if something comes out in front and you don't and you don't react, it'll actually stop. It'll yeah. swerve, but correctly so you don't tip or something. You right. know. Um, yeah, it was, it was. It was. It's. It's pretty cool. I've never done that kind of thing before. I've never gotten anything like super nice that I'm proud of. You know. Yeah. So you didn't get a tattoo, but you I got did a not car. get a tattoo. So I. I was. I was very happy. Well. Um, I can I can say that I'm very happy for you as well. Thank you. Oh, I'm very like, proud I can tell you I got a yeah, tattoo. I got a 2020. <laughs> 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 no, I'm still paying off mine. Yeah, I know. Yeah, I'll be. But yeah, I mean, I just uh, I, I just was relieved, you know. Yeah. Because yeah. like that, that's like a really bad feeling. I'm like, fuck, what the hell am I gonna do? Like, I gotta take Jancy back next week, you know. Yeah. yeah. I'm about to go rent a car and figure out something to do. And I was like, you know what? Fuck it, just go get something. Like I'm so like. Like, I never just, you know, now that I can afford to do stuff, because I used to live off, you know, $1,500 a month, you know? Yeah. And I was like, I know how to do that. And I still do that. Like, except for, like, Star Wars toys. Like, I... <laughs> I You're true hobby. I, I yeah. mean, that's how much I'm spending every month, you know? Like, so, anyway. Did that, and I was I was very, very excited. Um, It's just got, like, it does that thing where, like... If you go behind it and wave your feet under it, the door opens. Oh, open yeah. The hatch. The hatch. I, did, I did it like, fit like 20 times. It's like, okay, all right. <laughs> <laughs> you can wave it and it'll close. Too. Yeah, yeah. It's great. So anyway, that was it. Uh, it was a, It's a Ford Edge ST. It also has its sports technology is the ST. Yeah. Like the gear shifter is, it's not like one of these and it's not one of these. It's a dial. No, yeah, yeah. That you turn like this, right? It's on the center console. Yeah, it's in the yeah. center console. And you just turn it. Like it doesn't take any effort at all. It's it's literally like doing this. It's like reverse, you know, mm-hmm. drive, and then the button in the middle says S for sport, sport mode. mode. For stop. And oh. I haven't used. I did a little bit when Jancy was there, but I didn't want to like test it out until I had taken her to the airport on the right. way back. I put it in sports mode. Who? That's like completely different it's <laughs> yeah because like you know if you're going you know 70 down the interstate it's like you know the, it's just kind of like mm, you know yeah you hit s and it goes yeah and it flies the acceleration is so fucking crazy i was like i'm never ever pressing this button <laughs> but is i want to is put, it red no it's not but i want to put a red sticker on it so like when Don't i have like a, a button. i have like a kid in the yeah. car or something like push, push the, red the little button, button. <laughs> yeah. and that was fucking crazy yeah that's awesome it does it does this thing too where it freaks me out where if you stop the engine turns off oh yeah and then, and then you when let, you, let, then off you, the you break, let off the brake it turns again? back on and it, it freaks me out every time because i just have bad hearing is it all like, gas or is it it's all gas hmm, okay but yeah, like yeah because I, I know a lot of electric cars yeah. do that kind of thing where they, they'll shut off and then they just turn on whenever they yeah go so the suv yeah. that we rented the last time it had automatic uh engine it was like gas saver thing it also switched from v8 to v4 so it yeah. shut off four cylinders and just run on four when mm. you're going yeah. on the interstate and stuff so yeah, I just have a button called gas Eco on. Mode. Yeah, yeah, where it, where it limits my acceleration sure. and stuff. So yeah. it's the yeah. opposite of your button. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so I want to get like a little red like dot that I can put a sticker on there. Mine's a green button. <laughs> really, that's awesome. <laughs> <laughs> it's like push this. Yeah. So yeah. So uh, mine. I mean, we, it was new of our us, but mm-hmm. it wasn't new new. Sure. Right? But it was a fairly good shaped van. Yeah. So we. Yeah. At least have that for family. Yeah. Eventually, I'll get my own. I'll get rid of my truck and get something new. Or keep my truck, give it to my kids when they start driving. Yeah. Cause I'm gonna need to store those things up. But I, I've, yeah. I've I've never had a car with a warranty <laughs> on it, you know? Yeah. yeah. Like I've taught myself to change my oil and air filter and all that stuff because, well, I'm not gonna just take it to a dealership and have them get done. I'll just do it you myself. Should taught right. yourself to change wiper blades. I should have, <laughs> and I did, by the way. <laughs> how long? How long did it go, Calvin? Do you remember? Oh, uh, it was. Longer than it was comfortable for me. <laughs> it yeah. was so long. He just had napkins wrapped around his wiper <laughs> so instead it, of a wiper. So it wouldn't scratch. <laughs> but it already had. That's why you started putting napkins on it. Uh, uh, so, so funny, funny, though. Yep. Oh, man. <laughs> Eric, I have a picture of your prize table. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Yep. Very well organized. So there's that. By Jancy. I was say yes. Jancy was there. So She did the right side. <laughs> <laughs> but no, yeah, yeah. Those are all the prizes that everybody won for yeah. the, the Star uh, Star Wars mm-hmm. trivia. I the, had some uh, black black trivia. I had some black series figures, and I had some three point seven five inch figures. So, very last day, everyone's kind of clear on the ballroom. Um, 
we were heading up to the hotel room and stuff with the kids because they were all asleep and whatnot and tired. And Rick was getting ready to leave with oh. Evie. And <laughs> from what I understood from Melanie, she went, oh, make sure you get Evie's shoes. They're here. And he's, like, staring at him, looking. He picks up. And he's like, these are too small. Yeah. Like, these are too These aren't the right ones. Oh, here they are, the black ones or whatever they were. And then we get upstairs. We didn't grab all of our kids' shoes because we're like, we'll be back down to get them later. We, the ballroom's still locked up. In the middle of the night, at some point, Rick texts me a picture and says, Hey, these are at the wave cave. I took the wrong shoes. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm like, damn it again. Oh, that's so funny. He took, he took the wrong shoes for his daughter. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. I couldn't. I was just like, uh. That's hilarious. Though. Yeah, the, uh, the last day of WaveCon is always pretty sad. Like everyone oh, yeah. seeing each other for the last time for yeah. a year or whatever. It's kind of like summer camp in that regard. Yeah. Do you guys ever go to summer camp? No. Yeah. Okay. No. 4-H never. camp? No. FFA? No. I went to to camp at the 4-H camp. Yeah. Provida. Camp Provida. Fuck yeah. Hell yeah. I love Camp Provida. <laughs> I remember going to Camp Provida the first time. It was like 10. Yeah. And like, you know, it's like from, you know, there was high schoolers there too. I remember going there and like there's, there's some kid playing like like Dr. Dre, like on a, like a, like a really crappy stereo. <laughs> I remember being like, oh, there's big kids here. Oh no! I'm, gonna get my ass beat. <laughs> I'm in the middle of the woods and being like, "Oh, the street kids are gonna get me." <laughs> <laughs> but thanks everyone who came out. Uh, yeah. Thanks for Maggie and Josh for running D and D games, Don as well, and anyone who did anything to make someone's yeah. week better. Yeah, yeah. Also, us. like, I mean, overall, a lot of the people too. Like, there was a lot of people that were new, but they were like, I felt like I was accepted and part of the group, and mm-hmm. you know, part of the family, and. It wasn't just like, well, there's the group that's been coming for the last two years yeah. here, and they're hanging out by themselves, and all the new people were there. Like I said, uh, Navi, who was there for the first time, I know he was hanging out with different people and stuff, and I, I don't think he ever felt like he was being excluded from anything. No, I don't think I so. think the group was pretty pretty uh, inclusive with mm-hmm. everything, you yeah. know? I tried to talk to everyone I could, so if I didn't talk to you too much, I'm sorry. I was running around, running around a lot with Melanie, yeah. and then I was trying to talk with everyone, making sure I was doing my stuff. I hope I didn't ignore anybody with the ear. <laughs> that's that's that, always your fear. It is. I, I See, spin in a circle every once in a while when I'm in a place like this. I'm just like, yeah. just making sure, just making sure. So you get an excuse. I do get an excuse. Like, if, and if they know, like, if I yeah. if I miss somebody or ignore somebody, it's like, yeah. fucking Aaron. So that's, yeah, he that's my plan. Asshole. I just need to make yeah. sure. He goes bald. <laughs> I just need to make sure everybody knows that. They know that, that could happen, and then I just start ignoring people. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> On purpose. <laughs> then you get your excuse. But no, I, I I had a lot of fun. I think everyone else did too. So thanks to everyone that came and make sure uh, we'll probably have by next podcast the form thing on the website. Yeah, we'll Let's let say, you yeah. we'll let you know, like a review or yeah. like feedback thing, kind of survey ish thing. Yeah, survey. That's the word I was looking for. All right. Well, I got <coughs> a few memes, some of which are WaveCon related. Okay, some uh-huh. of which are not. Calvin, are you done eating? <clears throat> Do you want it? No, I just it's been an hour and oh, forty sorry. seven minutes. What do you mean do you want <laughs> no, it? I'm kidding. Oh. Wait, are you gonna throw it away? Don't no. throw it away. Okay. <laughs> this will be funny if you just keep eating. <laughs> He's like, no, I'm not done. Because <laughs> there's so many in chat. No, like, Calvin is still eating. I actually want to keep eating, but I ran out of drinks. So. Yeah, you can't do that. So this is not wave kind of related, but it made me laugh. Okay. Uh, person playing a violent video game. Same person in real life. A picture of me. <laughs> Mayonnaise is spicy. Mayonnaise is spicy. Mayonnaise is spicy. It is. Oh, man, Nashville. Uh, Uh, Nashville is so great. I already showed the one from Shane earlier, which Mm -hmm. is probably the best one. I like that one a lot. That one's really good. That's one of my favorite memes ever. (laughs) But it was really good. Uh, Someone made our our tombstones. Oh, no. So, Eric, uh, the cookie was right. Shane, the fortune cookie. Wasn't a prima donna. (laughs) Rick, fuck Candyland. <laughs> Calvin, I put him here, or I put him there with an arrow. I put him there. And then Aaron, buried alive. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's what he wants. I wanted to say buried alive. <laughs> a- Aiden says that I ear ignored him at the town hall. He tried to thank me for the plastic bag that he used for his camera. Because <laughs> <laughs> it was raining hard and he had his camera out. And I was like, here, just take this. And I gave him like a plastic bag from the kitchen or something. Oh, thank you. Yeah. Uh, and I just hey, ignored hey, him. Eric, hey, oh. This was inspired by Calvin playing Mario Maker. Starring Calvin Garb as a guy who can't get through one parrot Cooper. <laughs> one parrot Cooper. <laughs> a live, oh, live that is feet. so fucking cool, Calvin. Edge of that is two really Mario. cool. Edge of two Mario. That is Edge really of two Mario. Mario. That's great. That is really fucking cool. That is so good. Oh, like, so I sad. want that, like, as a <laughs> cover for my Mario Maker 2 disc. Like, Dude, that- like my... my 
game thing. That yeah. one that one pair of Koopa caused some problems for Calvin, didn't he? <laughs> yeah. yeah. That one jump. All right, Calvin, get ready. Here comes the jump. You're going to jump, and you're going to jump back. Dude, last, what, two Fridays ago when we did Mario Maker last, when I mean, you did your fucking... The Thwomp? Your Thwomp Cavern uh, level, and it like we couldn't leave until we finished it. Yeah. Fuck, just we finish his level. Fuck it, we finally finished it. <laughs> I went home, like, I went home and bought Mario Maker, <laughs> and I went home, and I beat that level so many times, I got the world record. <laughs> I was so mad. I was like, fuck, I'm going gonna, gonna to show you that. I could beat this real fast. I beat, I, I beat it like in two minutes. Well, That's speaking awesome. of Mario Maker, guys, we are going to be doing Mario Maker tomorrow yeah. for our game stream. Mm -hmm. And if yeah. you have levels or want to make levels, uh, make sure you either tweet them to us, and I'll try to look through them there, or go to the playing games section of Discord. Mm -hmm. And they have a list, like a Google Doc, okay. that you can, like, I think Lano and Phenom, Phenom I think. are like, they have access to it. And if you just tag them, They'll add it to the Google Doc, or you might be able to get access and add it to the Google Doc yeah. as well. But we're looking for fun levels, not insane levels. Yeah. yeah. Yes, yeah. please. Yeah. Fun levels. Don't do like <laughs> for me. Don't do like P jump type of things because yeah, those, are, those are tough to do. And I know Calvin definitely won't do it. But if you want some fun levels that have a few trolls in them but aren't like ridiculous, sure. Like those, I think yeah. those would be fun. Something that you like. Oh, it gets you the first time, and then you don't really bother you the next yeah. time. Yeah. Like I don't want to beat it the first time. Yeah. You know. But like I like like going through like damn it like, okay now I got it and then mm -hmm. you the random Kaizo block that you didn't even know was there before yeah <laughs> fuck Aaron <laughs> so yeah so make sure you guys either make some levels or send over some levels maybe you've already made sure and we'll go through and try to play some of those tomorrow tomorrow at three p.m. we'll try to at least spend like ten minutes on each one each one unless yeah. we really like the level and then we'll beat it okay <laughs> I imagine that's how we'll go ah uh, so this was another meme that happened on the last day. Finger blast. <laughs> <laughs> oh my oh. gosh. That was so much. You gotta fun. explain. I Dude. don't get it. Well no, it was <laughs> we were sitting around talking with Stormy and stuff, and this was like at the end at of the very, the very end. last day. Yeah. Yeah. And it was so late, I was so tired. We weren't, we weren't drunk or anything. We were just tired. Just overtired. Just talking about a bunch of stuff. And apparently Stormy and a few have been talking about like Wankstein and like these different like Insults, insults from like UK and whatever. Okay. Some stuff. Wank stain. Wank stain. Batty crease. Batty crease. Batty crease. Batty crease. Batta. Batty. Batty. Batty crease. Batty crease. Batty crease was one. I don't get that one. Um, but anyway, I don't know. I don't, I don't know what they all mean exactly. Okay. So. It's probably just don't, like just don't, really offensive. Just don't just go oh, yeah. yelling these at people. <laughs> yeah. yeah, it might be. Like I, I imagine like you know some other country being like you know you know cunt. They keep saying cunt. Well, speaking of cunt. There's a yeah, okay. finger blast. Finger blast. <laughs> it would be what you would... It, it would be like finger bang. Yeah. Well, yeah. I mean, I know this. No, those well, are finger guns. Uh, this is like finger blast. <laughs> finger blast. Oh, oh yeah. okay. Like, like Billy's going, like, finger blast. <laughs> okay, so there's no this. I mean, you could no. do this, too. Wow. Okay. <laughs> you can do what you want. Yeah. But, but no, it was, it was going through with, like so much stuff and they were talking about different things and then Billy's like I'm just gonna go have a finger blast and somebody's like no no don't be you're gonna be walking down the street saying that he's like you, it was just it was a very fun time it's yeah. hard to explain what was going on it was a lot of tired okay. stuff yeah. so it may not even so everybody been was quite being as an funny yeah. as everyone thought it was yeah but no yeah so finger blast became a thing there and I'm sure Stormy's like oh my god I can't believe I brought finger, finger blast. blast finger blast hey, to these Americans you imported it to <laughs> Southeastern Ohio. <laughs> and it, it means exactly what we think it means. Yeah, he said there's yeah, two yeah. things. There's the naughty version of Finger Blast. Okay. And he's like, there's like the Finger Blast that you do like in the club when like a naughty song comes on. It's like a kind of a dirty song. You start Finger Blasting. It's okay. like a fist pump, but naughty. <laughs> I'm just saying, we have a global platform. We could spread this. Yeah, we Finger could. Blast, yeah. <laughs> we yeah. should make a Story shirt. might be in the chat. I don't know. He might be. He is. <laughs> I think I have all this information correct, so. A pure filth song. Yeah, okay. pure filth. filth. <laughs> All right. It's a filthy song. Uh, so I, filth. Billy, but filthy Billy song. is known for doing a filthy it. song. Filthy song. Yeah, Billy was trying to do the accent and was going around asking everyone about finger blasting and oh. calling everyone batty crease. Batty crease. Okay. Batty crease. <laughs> Stormy says Billy keeps sending me voice messages of him saying it. <laughs> <laughs> That's so funny. <laughs> See, that, that just goes to prove that you can't experience everything in one wave. Cut. No, no, you gotta have not. a couple because I didn't. I didn't get that. No. <laughs> so yeah, so yeah, there's, and there's different groups uh, that had yes. all kinds of different things well, they did. There's some groups that did some more Pokemon stuff than I got to do. There was some groups that did 
some finger blasting and <laughs> <laughs> all kinds of hey, stuff. Because Billy just sent me a message a while, like 14 minutes ago. Tell Aaron I said finger blast. <laughs> <laughs> finger and, blast. And Calvin that I said, hey, ducks. Which I, I was like, no, I don't know any of that. Yeah, that was Billy hey, talking ducks. about his like, hey, you guys talking about ducks? Oh, yeah, I have a great duck call, okay? You want to hear it? it? You want to hear it? It goes like this. <clears throat> Hey ducks. <laughs> that's all. That's all he did. All and right. We were like, "What?" The best. That's funny. Then I had. I love Billy. I have one other thing, which is not WaveCon related, but is a short little video. Sounds like Mario. Yeah. All right. Then check this out. I don't know, but it made me laugh. Oh, I, not expect that. <laughs> I was like, I've seen this meme format before. I'm like, okay, what's it gonna be? Didn't expect that. Well, I've been so. seeing. I thought it was gonna be WaveCon related. And Rick tricked us because, yeah. like, I've been seeing people use that and be like, "Oh yeah, you're a top lad," <laughs> you know, yeah. like, instead of "You're beautiful." What a oh, breathtaking. Oh my gosh. So, all right, well. I didn't expect that either. <laughs> I think we're going to move into our a donations. Yeah, and all donations. that stuff. See if there's any questions we need to go through or anything. Um, if we can't log in, Rick, I don't have my phone to give you the answers. <laughs> so <laughs> I, I think we're in. Oh, okay. That would be funny, though. But no, I, had a lot, I had a lot of fun with everybody. I hope everyone else had a lot of fun. Thank you to everyone that came. Hopefully we have more people next year. Thank you to Melanie for helping to put everything together and calling and setting up and all that thank yeah you, thank you definitely. To, thank you to, a lot of work thank you to blindman for paying <laughs> you're welcome <laughs> <laughs> you're welcome self all right so ryan whittleson thank you all you people subscribe for 11 months what will the next star wars cartoon be with resistance ending mm -hmm. after season two yep we just watched the trailer it'll be concluding in season two um i don't know i'm interested We'll see. I mean, we got Clone Wars coming back. I would love. That's cool. I would love an animated Qui Gon and Obi Wan series. Yeah, wouldn't Buddy that be Cop. sweet? Yeah, like you know how they had like the Jedi sweet. Apprentice and stuff like that. I think an animated version of that would be great because you can't yeah. get a young Liam and a young, but you can animate them. You can. Yeah, you could animate if you them wanted, very well. If you wanted to, you yeah. could probably avoid. But I'm sure there's some good voice actors that could do like a young Liam Neeson and hey. a young Ewan McGregor. Well, I mean, you know? Clone Neeson Wars is get get uh, uh James Arnold Taylor. Taylor, yeah, yep. get Arnold Taylor. Yeah. Like, have him do, like, a younger Obi-Wan yeah. Kenobi? He could probably pull that off, right? He probably yeah. could. That'd be, well, yeah. Like, that'd be <laughs> great. <laughs> I just want them to continue the cartoon from the Star Wars Christmas special. That was the hey, that was the Boba Fett one. It was. That's the yeah. first appearance of Boba Fett. Yeah, he, had, it that was awesome. he had that trident yeah. gun thing. Riding yeah. a dinosaur. <sighs> I stick with mine. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Garrick Loran subscribed for 24 months at Tier 2. Thank you, Garrick Loran. I keep dropping this. I'm sorry. That's cool. Good WaveCon. Thank Come you, to WaveCon Garrick. next year. Maybe you'll get some cool swag. Bye. Hi, uh. Kikio Corgi. Subscribe for two months. Thank, Thank you, Corgi. Fomarak, 10 months. Fomarak. Um, Thank you. Aaron, A25, 16 months. Yeah. Good name. Thank you. Uh, Gargano. Two. What? Gargano. Gargano. Subscribed. Thank Paste. you for the subscription. Yes, pasty face, twenty months. Pasty Ooh. face. Top screen with a hundred bits. Thank you, top Aww. screen. Wait, you missed Thank a week. You. <laughs> <laughs> you know that is the exact definition of chutzpah. <laughs> Dip six oh two resubscribed at tier two for nineteen months. Thanks for the awesome uh, nineteen months. Sorry I can't stay for today's podcast, but I had a super long day and I'm going to bed. Enjoy the beautiful dish for my beautiful country on our Independence Day, Calvin. And you all have a great podcast. Nice, thank you. It smelled great. Happy Independence it, Day. It was amazing. Happy, Happy Independence. What Day. we don't want? India His food. Uh, oh, yeah. Pay attention, to that. I thought he sent you food. I'm like, where'd this come from? <laughs> <laughs> Gustavo Bruno resubscribed for Wait, eleven months. It's Independence Day of India. Maybe of his specific province. I gotta, I'm not go, sure. I gotta go support. Yeah, you, 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 you got do. you now. Talk to Melanie. Uh, Gustavo Bruno, 11 months. Thank you, Gustavo. Gustavo. Bo Jangles with 1,500 bits. Bo Jangles, holy. 1,500. Jeez. 
Crusader, 100 bits. You're all top, lads. Aaron, finger blast. <laughs> finger blast. Okay, that was in the chat all the time. Okay. Two hours ago, yeah. Hmm. Skinner, 18, as we subscribe for five months. Every time I Skinner. hear that, I always think it's like your uncle. Like, he just has a Skinner <laughs> yeah. account. It could be. <laughs> <laughs> Bo Jangles gifted a sub to Steamy99. Oh, thank you. congratulations, Steamy. Congrats. Buddha Fingers subscribed. Okay. Finger. Buddha Finger? Butterfinger. Buddha oh. Fingers. Oh. The Noble Butter Wolf fingers. for seven months. Thank hey, you, Noble Wolf. Thank you, Noble Wolf. Thank you. Diggus Bickus, yep. seven months. Thank you. Seven. Aramaic, tier three, 23 months. Almost two years, baby. Can't wait for many more. Miss your beautiful faces. Woo. And Aaron. Yeah, that was Miss you too, Aramaic. Thank you for the suit again. I was going to say it was really cool to have that surprise Aramaic show up. He was like, hey, I sent oh, you guys yeah. something. It's in the hotel lobby. Yep. Come get it. And it was him. He was down there. But never mind. It sucked that he showed up. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, uh. Now, that's one of the things that I forgot to mention on the podcast, too. Aramaic brought me a suit. Yeah, it's amazing. Oh, yeah, did. That's yeah. where you got Didn't that. you wear yeah. it on the Valley Gym? Yeah, I wore it okay. on the Valley Gym. Nice. nice. It was a very nice it was, suit. It's, it's, it's a very pricey very suit. Very nice. Yes. It is a very <laughs> pricey very nice suit, suit, too. <laughs> it costs more than Eric's car. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. No, no, no. I wouldn't wear it if it cost that much, but it was a very nice suit. It was suit. at least Thank a down you. payment. <laughs> <laughs> at the very least, yes. <laughs> uh, Grace and DX subscribed for nine months. Blind Wave Baby. Glad Blind you guys Wave, are enjoying Titans. Yes, Titans oh, has been fun. You. Thank you, Grayson. Except for Rick. Most of us are enjoying Titans. As I said. <laughs> <laughs> he also gifted a sub. <gasps> Ooh. Thank you. Alex P. with 350 bits. Heading to work. Have a great podcast, guys. Thank you, Alex P. Thank you. That Arrow Guy subscribed. Thank you, Arrow Guy. Dun, dun. Oh, wait. That Arrow Guy. Echo Dolly, 20 months. I'm gutted I couldn't come to WaveCon. One year I will be there. Apologies in advance for the year I do attend. No, <laughs> that'll be fun. No, that'll be great. Laughter. It'll be great. You and Peggy would probably get along like a house on fire. <laughs> Billy was so desperate to have it. He tipped a dollar to Aaron. Finger blast to Calvin. Hey, ducks. Finger blast. <laughs> so desperate. <laughs> so he tried to get it through Eric. Hey, yep. <laughs> hey ducks. Uh, Bigfoot. For Dude. 10 months. Bigfoot stuck around for a little bit. Yeah, he was here on Wednesday. Is, wait, so is he home now? He is home now, yeah. He drove home yesterday, right? Yeah, because uh, sure. on Tuesday we had like a birthday party we were going to, and he was still in town, so we invited him. Oh, but yeah. he got there before us, so this uh. gigantic <laughs> man walked in, <laughs> and he didn't know anybody. <laughs> <laughs> we, <laughs> we came, Where at? Where's it was at the aquatic party? center. Oh, my oh God. yeah. <laughs> so he walked in, and he, he was there swimming and stuff, and he... We got there, and he's like, man, I'm so glad you guys showed up. <laughs> I thought, thought the cops were going to get called. It was for a kid's birthday party. Yeah. You know? Like, it was so funny that any kids. he was the only person you give a mic to in the Q&A. Yeah. It was so hard to hear him sometimes, too. Because really, uh, yeah. He, uh, he, uh, fuck you all. <laughs> cause it was so deep. Even it's when so he's talking deep. loud, it's still yeah. kind of hard to hear. Uh, his message was, what's up, y'all? Back to the everyday grind. Hope gotcha. everyone had a great time, because I know I did. Would ask how y'all been, but I literally just saw y'all. Yep. Some of y'all less than 48 hours ago. Miss everyone and can't wait till next year. Yeah. Uh, me and Carmen actually went over to the tattoo shop where he got a supernatural did tattoo. Did he get it? Yeah. He said he, 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 he did get it? He said he was like, gonna get whoa, it. 15 shit. minutes before he left. Oh, right. Awesome. Home, yeah. So he did. Well, get he it. was eating at the townhouse, and then I think he went over to that. Yeah. So. Did when, he go? Did you guys go bowling before that? Yeah. Because the, the when, he left, when yeah. he left from the swimming party, he was like, talking about them going bowling and stuff so i gave him directions on how to get to north hills so i was hoping he made it yeah he <laughs> yeah. made it it's like leaving the aquatic center there's like that weird one-way street area there yeah go here go here and then get to that speedway and you're good yeah <laughs> whenever you guys were dancing to that one song where it's like left foot left foot or whatever oh, yeah and bigfoot left was foot, walking by stop. i was like bigfoot no it's <laughs> 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 <Just> like us <laughs> right foot, left stop. Uh, Crusader with 100 bits. The Tinya Ida Funko Pop that Stormy Boy got as a prize is now worth over $150 thanks to discontinuation. Oh, really? Well, wow. good for him. That's awesome. That's a hell of a gift. Yeah. Yeah, good <laughs> good, good prize. God damn it. <laughs> no, that's awesome. Uh, that's We've awesome. never, ever, no. like, ever sold or gotten no. rid of anything. This is like the first time. Like well, with a, uh, we did it once on a stream. Yeah, we, I guess so. We, we did giveaways. Yeah, we've done giveaways. We have like... But we've given to the fans. We haven't yeah. like sold anything like that. I don't think we ever really would. So no. unless we really everything. need that new board game. True. You. 
Ba Nanny resubscribed for nine months. Nanny. Nanny. Uh, Crusader you. with another another hundred bits. We've started a movement. Top lads. Top, Top lads. lads. Top lads. Finger blast. Finger blast. And then another 100 bits. Billy just sent a voicemail message in our Top Lads group yelling, Finger Blast! <laughs> and Finger blast. finally, Gustavo, 100 bits. And he sent me a link to a YouTube video, which mm. I cannot click on. Could be dangerous. That's but I can dangerous. try and see what it is. You missed, you missed my very... No, that's at uh, timestamp. Oh, yeah. He maybe he wants you. Maybe to look he at the wants you at a certain time. Maybe he does. That would make sense. Instead of, but yeah. I, I can't see it. It cut it off. Is the thing. gotcha? Maybe it's a finger blast. Yep. Can't watch it. <laughs> well, thank you. Thank you for the bits. Yes. Yep. Thank you. Uh, and then let's look at redemptions, no. oh. which hopefully are easy on us because I don't think any of us have recovered yet <laughs> from WaveCon. Not fully. I don't think Aaron is recovered from last redemption. There's nothing. It's empty. <laughs> Thank you. No redemption. Yep. Thank you. Oh, okay. Good. Uh, All right. But good stuff. Mick. I'm just kidding. Ow. <laughs> Thanks so much, everybody. Uh, if you want to send those Mario levels, we're going to stream Super Mario Maker tomorrow. Tweet us or yes. go to Discord under playing games and talk to Phenom Taker or... Yeah, I know him and Lana were trying Lano. to put together like a group of like... Levels. Yeah. So get that sent to us so we can play those tomorrow, and hopefully we'll see you tomorrow at 3 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. That is Friday Eastern Standard Time for another Mario Maker 2 streams. So we'll see you next time. Bye, guys. Finger blast. We're still live. Bye, everybody. Thank you for WaveCon. Thank you for fun, and we'll see you guys later. Next time.